here. Hey! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Start as we mean to go on. Wow, we are we are on form today. <laughs> Beautiful. Welcome, <laughs> everybody, to the stream, the little stream that could. Um, welcome, uh, if you haven't been here before, uh, welcome to Tales of the Torn Vale, hey. a uh, slightly on the nose uh, named uh, actual play slash live play slash TTRPG slash D&D 5e slash homebrew. Uh, uh, things um, <laughs> stream where we are telling the story of some intrepid adventurers um, that we're going to learn a little more about as we introduce our wonderful players who you can see that art lurking below ominously in the dark in the shadows waiting to come to the light <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> so as with every episode um chaos but as with every episode uh we will lead the charge today by going in a nefarious order that sometimes even i forget the meaning <laughs> of which shall be revealed at some point during the stream if indeed i remember there was one about three weeks ago that i still can't for the life of me remember <laughs> what it was gonna be um for example last times was who was most likely to get poisoned um oh. and thankfully no one did um <laughs> yet but for today we shall start by saying hello to the wonderful dario dari dario <laughs> who's mm -hmm. dario is there a, is there someone <laughs> called dario here dario not into <laughs> start with the lovely Darian audio as Tarquin, not Dario. There isn't a Dario here. Hi, Darian. Okay. Hola, mi nombre is Dario, and uh, <laughs> I am definitely not Darion. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm just not gonna kill you. We're just getting started. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm Darion. Nice to see you all here. I'll be playing the part of Tarquin, who is your favorite living legend monk, draw elf, member of the stealth team, and future king of the world, according to him, of course. Of course. So, um, we'll see about that. <laughs> anyway, nice to see you all. Happy to have you here. Woo woo! Thank you so much, Not Dario. <laughs> Pleasure as always. Um, I'm so sorry. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next up, we shall go with Luto. Hello, Luto. Hey, it's me, JC, aka Cardlin Audio, aka Luto Bayani. Uh, thanks for being here, playing the big old dude with a big old heart of gold. Happy uh, Valentine's Day. Thanks for coming, <laughs> and we're looking forward to today's session. Yay! Woo! Amazing. Still no Dario. Dario seems to be a no-show. We'll have maybe we'll have to kick him off the team. I sent him um, the invite. It's so weird. I know. Like they, they I don't know. I sent them the Discord link and they just replied with bitch, but it was spelt wrong. It was it's only very like very weird. Very weird. Thank God we have the I C T H or something. It was weird. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Next up we will go with the wonderful the beefiest Bifon Festes, aka Dime Package! Hello, I'm Dime Package, and I play the wonderful Bifon Festes. With his big giant club, beating up most things, and the rest of the time just trying to stay out of the way of the chaos of his teammates, <laughs> while causing some on his own, usually with sausages. <laughs> Hello, guys! Missed your chat. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, there is a chef. I don't know if that chef survived, actually, but it's possible that there is a chef that, that died wondering where 300 of his sausages went. Um, 
Which is a sad way to go. Maybe he died before the fireballs because of wondering where all his sausages are gone. Um, but last, but by <laughs> no means least, we have Eloro as played by the always wonderful Nai! <laughs> I am Nai Kills. And I play Aloro, a cat-obsessed druid, a half-elf with a penchant for positive chaos. Oh! I like that. I'm sorry. A oh, whole ass slogan. Lucky. <laughs> Lucky and see. You're all going to be introducing you <laughs> yourselves with, like, alliteration. PowerPoints. <laughs> like, session 100, you're going to be like, all right, first slide. <laughs> <laughs> Get the little laser pointer out. <laughs> Hi. This was me at eight. <laughs> As we reach level nine, these are uh, my character's goals and beliefs uh, in the current world that we're living in. <laughs> but yes, it is a pleasure. Pay attention, to... this will be on the test. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so tempted to do a lore test, you don't even know. Uh, I mean, technically. What is D and D if not a bit of a, a little bit a little bit of a lore test? A little bit. Um, Depending on the DM, slightly forgiving, sometimes open book. Um, but yes, and hi, I'm Key. I'm everyone else. Uh, <laughs> if there is a random drunk guy on the street that the travelers walk past asking for directions, that is that is me. If, you know, just to, to come up with a completely random example, if there is a seagull that was literally plucked out of the sky um, and was almost eaten by the team until the team made a hat uh, for for the seagull so that uh, their other team member wouldn't eat him, uh, that I would play them. I would play the, the seagull, but that's just hypothetical. Yeah. Um, and I'm also currently on two time zones at the same time and cat sitting two very big cats with the with the with the zoomies right now so if i'm more delirious than usual i do apologize <laughs> that will be why <laughs> so yeah uh we're all we're all here though and we're all so excited and more chaos can't be a bad thing right when would it ever be right and please do say hi in chat if you're currently here. We're going to go uh, through the comments and say hi to everyone who is currently here. And then we will begin, once again, the mandatory um, ignoring portion of the stream, which is, um, again, potentially excluding JC, done purely for immersion and not out of dislike or hatred for chat. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> or indifference to chat's opinion. <laughs> Uh, we do have to keep everything in check and immersive, so we try and say hi to you in the breaks and stuff, yeah. But first off, Zombie Fee, coming in with the with the big old... <laughs> That's not the phrase to use. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zombie Fee! Old... <laughs> the big old biddies. It's <laughs> not the phrase to go with. Happy Valentine's Day. I <laughs> should just leave now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so oh jesus thank you so much v for the biddies we hope you're doing well as well and thank you so much for the little extra for the kitties um <laughs> oh no i'm i'm the one who's leaving i'm i'm irresponsible right now um my 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 new meds are like don't operate heavy machinery and i've got a human body so like um <laughs> but <laughs> hello zombie we hope you're doing well hello bean breeder hope you're doing well pound town hello gone vividly kiki the demon girl um um yeah stream elements you know you're a robot but robots are cool sometimes yeah Hi. we still appreciate you <laughs> Exactly. And we appreciate all of you for being here and coming along. If you're watching this on YouTube, what's up? We see you. We appreciate you. Feel free to leave a comment. You can, you can, you know what you can do? You can, you can skip to the end of the video and then skip back to this point and be like, oh my gosh, I think this is going to happen this episode. And then you can make everyone think that you're an oracle or something. 
Do it. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> do it. Do, do it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You look really clever, and we get some support for the stream. So, you know, it's a win-win. Um, but yes, we very much appreciate you guys being here. Have I forgotten anything? I always feel like I forget something. I even remember to introduce myself. That's that's a, that's a new one. Yeah, so. big progress. Woo! <laughs> um, I think. That is everything. How are, how are y'all feeling about today? I'm excited. I feel like it's been forever. It does. It do feel like that. Very, very happy. Yeah. Hell mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, on that, on that note, let us go to the introduction I have barely prepared. Nice. And, uh, we shall begin today's episode of Tales of the Torn Veil. <gasps> music change. <gasps> I forgot to sh share the music with you guys. Okay, I'll do that No, after. you did. I think you did. I haven't shared my screen, though. Oh, we'll, right. We'll, we'll let the music ride once. This is the technical <laughs> Technical things happening music. <laughs> Just me rolling in a projector into the room. Like we're about to watch a movie at school. <laughs> <laughs> Squeaky wheel. Alright, there we go. Boop! Okay. There we go. Hopefully, y'all should have music now. Yay. Okay. Thank you. All. <laughs> I love this music. Right. Um, oh. Okay. Few mortals have summoned the presence of a little-known deity, let alone asked for assistance with their souls still intact. However, it's what our group managed to achieve last time we journeyed into the world with them. They made their way to the pinnacle isles of Ash Sky, after the horrors of that same night where fireballs rayed down from above, taking along many adventurers in its destruction. There, the group met with two of the new royals, whose wedding was initially the kickoff point, <laughs> if you will. Um, the reasoning for the events of the hunting trials that our group had participated in and honestly just like swept the board with just absolutely nailed all of the tasks <laughs> blew everyone away um, and while there in the presence of royals they perhaps mistakenly identified or misidentified um, a demonic deity in the form of a red tiefling man by the name of Riordan, who was uh, slightly confused by the um, claims that were being flung at him from all angles. But once that was done, the group moved into talks between the royals and the Lady Atirin, who was my mistress slash master of the arcane at nearby uh, Ninut Guildhalls, renowned for their um, works in smithing, hunting, and the arcane. Once sat down and uh, served a humble meal, the group were offered a job of sorts to join an organisation called the Espers. The Espers' goal is ultimately to defeat and rein in false deities who have taken arcane that has leaked from the tail, the Torn Veil, not the tail of the Torn Veil, the actual Torn Veil, it's not a tail, it's happened. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> 
Uh, the moon landing was not faked. It is, in fact, real. Um, oh, my God. Um, but yes, there are those who have uh, wielded arcane powers beyond their capabilities or committed sinful, sinful acts in order to build their own source of power and ascend as if they were a deity. And with great power comes great responsibility that many of these false deities or altars are not able to handle. Thus, they pose a threat to the world. And should enough arcane energy from the veil be taken out, I'm gonna sue whoever that is. <laughs> um, should the energy be taken out of the veil, the veil could be ripped entirely asunder, which is good or bad, depending on how you look at it, but it would unequivocally open up the door to many other realms, many other deities, the natures of which we don't know, we don't comprehend, we can't fathom. The groups run in with the demonic deity of Actilina to help bring back their friend Luca may only be the beginning of their experience with strange deities, strange powers, if they fail this quest. Or indeed, even if they succeed it. But that is where we left off. The ritual done. A deal with Actilina. The demonic deity of twilight done. They will bring back Luca, their friend, on one condition. The team must take Luca with them, regardless of any further orders or instructions, and take her to the Shrinhua Viaduct in Lorena, mountainous district, on the mainland to the south. Once there, it's supposed that Luca will know exactly what to do. What that is remains to be seen, for we are picking up exactly at the point at which the portal of communication with Actilina closes. So, join us for this tale. Close your eyes, let your mind and imagination run free as the curtains of the theatre of the mind open and you join us for Tales of the Torn Veil. Vale. Mm -hmm. Spooky. <laughs> I, was... I, I heard really the game start moment. playing after that. <laughs> <laughs> so let me. I don't even know where my phone is. There it is. It's always typical when you're like, I'm busy at this time, and someone's like, Hi, are you busy? <laughs> <laughs> are you busy like I don't know like a right now how are you feeling I know it's D&D &D night what oh my you... god <laughs> why did you fucking do it <laughs> we haven't even got to the cat zoomies yet and we're already in fucking trouble alright <laughs> just gonna bury that under a pillow because my phone's broken alright <laughs> I, there's a phantom in my phone. I literally can't put it on silent mode. Okay. So. <laughs> yes. As we left off last session. <laughs> we. Saw. We see. Group C's. As does Riordan. Who is also in the room. Uh, Umbrellae and friends are outside. Uninterested in witnessing this potentially demonic ritual and we see the fog of with the spindly pale fingers push back into the darkness of this portal this void whatever deep 
thrumming ambience that came with it silenced the candles lit to begin the ritual all blown out and an eerie quiet lays in the room as the floorboards creak underneath the weight of a group of people that don't quite know what to do next <laughs> accurate but saying that what would you guys like to do next <laughs> hmm so where are we currently like what just happened we just got out of the meeting or yeah so um you just finished the um magical skype call with actilaneth mm. um to get the phrase to bring Luca back to life. That is pretty much, I believe, where we left off. I think we got the job offer, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think that's So you arrived, called Riordan a demon lord, went <clears> in, <throat> had dinner, <laughs> got offered the job, got time to think about it, um, skipped my mini quest. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, went and saw your room, found Riordan, did the ritual, and now you're here. Having oh, just yeah. I remember I was reluctant and going with yes. the crew because they're basically asking us to do some uh, arcane wet work for them. Right. When you put it that uh, way. <laughs> and we have a worm that we can there take is, anywhere. There is a worm parked outside, yes. <laughs> um, did they mention where they would like us to start? Um, in terms of the mission? Yeah. Um, it, it's more a case of they're kind of letting you sleep on it before a Formal com uh, confirmation, um, but it's oh it <laughs> yeah, shenanigans think, time then. I think we had planned if... to uh, sleep on it and then like talk about it in the morning before we go give them our official answer. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah. it's from the way that Etherian was speaking. It seems as if uh, should you accept the offer, you'll probably be making headway for uh, HQ wherever that may be either after accepting the job or a day or two after. But it's, you know, it, it's not Im immediately urgent, let's go now, but it's kind of a chop chop. <laughs> Don't think about it too long. <laughs> but yeah, there is some time to contemplate and shenanigans. Uh, the only thing I've wanted to do was go see that cave we found during the first competition. That's pretty much the only pressing business, other than saying hello and goodbye to whomever. Yeah, and there'll be time for that in the morning, because go... it's still the dead of night at this point. Cool. But you can go at night, but... Probably not a good idea. I mean, it doesn't matter, it's a cave. <laughs> I was about to say it's easier to see in the daytime, but you 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 throw out a very good point. Well, sleep then, folks. I think we should sleep. I suppose so. Yeah. Riordan just looks at all of you, just kind of like going, "Nice, well, sleep." <laughs> so casually <laughs> after this interaction. <laughs> have, have you spoken with many gods before them? You seem very relaxed about all of that. I mean, how else are we supposed to take this? Well, uh, what am I gonna freak out and be like, oh my god, oh my god, we're so blessed to speak to a god. I've just been asked to kill people. Wait, are we getting paid? For what? 
for this? The assassinations. Assassinations? I'm afraid I don't know anything about all of that. I'm just sure, a guest you call here? it what you want to call it. Do... Then why are you speaking to us? Well, who is, who I don't is know, this? because you asked me to help <laughs> you set up a ritual to speak to a demonic deity. So you could Wait, what are your you... friend. Oh my god, I am so lost, Key. Okay, no worries. <laughs> <My> <laughs> wait, wait, That's... wait. Where did we actually leave off? Because I remember us doing that thing, and then we did something else before we stopped. I didn't realize we stopped here. That is my mistake. Does anyone else I could have swore know? we did something after we talked to the demon. I believe it was just that, but I may be mistaken. So I think well, there was talks of doing some kind of poison side side quest. Yeah, there's that we didn't do the yeah. poison though. Right. I did the almost uh, getting poisoned kind of thing. Then I went back. We did the whole ritual. Yeah. And mm -hmm. talked to this guy, and I think it was left there. After yeah. he said I that he was going to bring back Luca. Written after oh, okay, I could have the swore ritual, there was a little but... bit more after that. Other stuff happened. That stuff happened, like with the making. The yeah, I didn't think we were still though. in the same room. I thought that we left after that whole thing was taken care of. You can you can leave. I'm wrong. I'm not happy. You. <laughs> you don't have to talk to me all day. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm the only one lost, so I'm just gonna stay no, out of this. No, you don't. No, no, no. <laughs> You're all good. You're all good. No, no be fun. Good. I'm I'm listening and going. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a couple of weeks, so it's absolutely no worries, and my apologies as well. DM's response to me not knowing is, if you want to leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I meant <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Does anyone want to say anything to Riordan before leaving the chamber? Thank you, Riordan. S sorry, I took a lot of bumps on the head today. I don't know what's going on oh. at all. <laughs> I think nothing of it. It's fine. Um, you know where your room is, yes? No, actually. Bumps head. I'll show you the way again, and kind of opens the door, and you see um, Umbalian friends outside, just kind of awkwardly standing next to each other. <laughs> 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 and uh, they follow along as you make your way to uh, to your room, which is kind of, I believe, to the north of the building. Um, and you see that, yeah, once again, it's, um, for those who missed it, or for those who forgot, because I did until earlier, uh, you see that it's kind of a few, um, a few king-sized beds. Uh, it's as if this is a room where multiple siblings would have slept growing up, where they all shared a room, but it was kind of luxury because they all had a really big bed and, like, really nice toys and decor and everything. Me. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of room for everyone to have a king-sized bed, and for those who would like to share theirs, certainly may. And yes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty tired. I feel like we do so much today, they tell us all the things, we have to pride on the giant lizard. It's just so tiring. Let's go to sleep. Uh, Sounds yes. good to me. Agreed. I could uh, definitely go for that. Did uh, was there something you wanted to talk about, Luto? Was there? R roll an insight check. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> there is something. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you've forgotten. It's, it's not even. It's not even. But Did we'll you get... forget you proposed? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, right, we're married now. That's what it is. <laughs> Shotgun wedding. 
Um, insight. So you get married and get given a blunderbuss. My each. own personal sense of memory. Ooh, thirteen. <laughs> um, her eyes are gesturing wildly at the door that you just came in from, but you can't. Nothing's immediately ringing a bell, but oh, she seems to want to talk about something. Yes, of course. I forgot we're going to talk about uh, that thing that we were going to talk about. Everybody, excuse me, please. I gently deposit uh, friends on Aluro's sh shoulder. Hello, friends. Huh? Huh? And then nuzzles your, nuzzles your jaw. <laughs> so cute, um, but then you hear him talk, and it's like Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Do you have a problem with that? No, it's both, they're both cute. I'm just saying it's so cute, and then it becomes cuter. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I did have a thought the other day where he just had like a super adorable, like, just anime girl voice. And I was oh. like, no, I already gave him a voice. Dang it. That would have been so funny. <laughs> There's still time. There's still time. For the next um, seagull that I catch midair and make my pet. Oh, Jesus. Um, but yes, uh, you go outside and Umbrella just kind of looks at the rest of you incredulously. And just like, just just shakes her head and <laughs> follows you outside. Um, gently closes the door. I thought you wanted to like, you know, find somewhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have to. It's been a long day, but just find somewhere and you you want to talk about something. No, it's quite all right. Was there anything you wanted to talk about? I would like to move. I don't know what I need to roll to do this, but I would like to move to pick her up and sling her over my shoulder. Uh, you do so. She's pretty used to it at this point. All right. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> of course I remember. <laughs> Let's go. And he gives her an affectionate pat on the thigh as he trundles off to find another room. Okay. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, did you forget? I, so JC forgot for sure. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think Ludo in the moment would have forgotten, but I for sure it's, forgot. It's amazing that you forgot, but that Ludo remembered and that rem made you remember. And I, I really respect that level of, of gaming. Yeah, um, yeah. No, Ludo is tenacious. <laughs> JC forgets everything. What, what kind of place are you looking for, Ludo? <laughs> you know, we're in a royal palace. Let's try and find something really nice. Something really swanky, danky dank. Well, something to that... rival that tent of that first evening. Well, you do know that there is a, a very lush, tropical-ish kind of uh, greenhouse, uh, fruitful gardens uh, in the center of the of the palace downstairs you know kind of. the garden down there is pretty nice if you think you can be quiet she 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 just raises an eyebrow at you okay challenge accepted <laughs> are we are we are we gonna do it for shits and giggles are we gonna would you like to roll anything? Or uh, would you just like to fade to black? I know, last time I rolled, it didn't, didn't, end, up, didn't end up too well for me. <laughs> I think we're going to fade to black on this one. Fade to boom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how, how long is it approximately until um, Ludo and Umbelay return? They get a short, they manage to get a short rest instead of a long rest. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> he legitimately is tired. It'll be uh, nice, uh, certainly frantic and manic, uh, but also exhausting. You know, it'll be... Uh, he can tell that she has more energy than he does, so he uh, does his best to tire her out. I mean, she did die today. 
Yeah, it is, you know, it'll take it, take it out of you. <laughs> I mean, being reborn, I guess, is re like kind of like maybe like having like a monster energy drink. Like, you know, maybe a couple of, it's like a Red Bull. Maybe you come back with a long rest. <laughs> not sure that's how it happens, but I appreciate Probably the... Not. I, I like I like the the metaphor for it. <laughs> just, it's like a monster energy. death. It's like a monster energy, right? It's just coming coming right back. Um, but yes, unless anyone else would like to do anything, speak now or forever hold your uh, seepiness. There's a lot of stuff you could steal in a royal palace. <laughs> Still plenty of time to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It has to be with good intent, okay? We're not <laughs> evil. <laughs> then everyone, except Tarquin, gets a long rest. Tarquin. Uh-oh. <laughs> there comes a time in every D&D player's life where the night becomes a haunting experience. So. All right. I would like for you to roll for me a wisdom saving throw, please. All right. And it's real, real cash. I got a 19. Hell yeah, that succeeds. <clears throat> you have a strange dream. Not massively strange or overwhelming or confusing. But you see kind of blurred flashes. A sunny forest hill, kind of this nostalgic blur of memory filtered over whatever you're seeing. You see a huge view over plains and fields. For a moment you see or feel small hands, your hands, touching a friend, lifting them up and hoisting them over your shoulder. You see a blurry flash of bright light which dissipates to later on a tall blurred figure patting you on the back saying what you've done is akin to that of a hero. You may push into the dream further but you would need to roll another wisdom saving throw. Or you can Let's go. sleep peacefully, it is up to you. No, 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 I wish to continue. Go for it. You got a 13. Okay. You see the light and the nostalgia fade to something entirely more sinister where once there was a gentle sunlight you see now just tiny spots of light in darkness reflective walls and eyes peering at you behind you the voices of your peers and friends worried speaking amongst each other wondering what to do The only thing that comes to your mind in that moment is to scream. But you do. You scream until there is no air left in your lungs, until your throat is raw and your eyes are wrenched shut. And yet you still hear the howls of agony as you do. Another flash of white some time later. 
the worried voices around you all hug you, thanking you for your help, hero. This is your third and final attempt to delve deeper into the dream. But I will need another wisdom saving throw. Let's go. Do it. You've got one success and one failure so far. Nice. Okay, good job. You avoid exhaustion as you delve deeper and deeper into these dreams. The last dream feels altogether more familiar. Whereas the other feel like very distant memories long ago with that blood filter of almost not experiencing it in the first person. This one is a lot closer to your heart. You see once again darkness the bright white light between each of your dreams fading to a bright red blaze. Blurry still, but the small flickers of ash and flame somewhat clearer. You see hooded figures, pale, their faces all blurred and melding together. You feel as their blades enter your sides. But you do enough to protect those you were looking out for, who make it to safety. You see them leave on a boat as you sink to your knees and the final jab is thrust into your neck another flash of bright white light and this time you're in a building, a gentle grey in the night time, the red blaze still roaring outside, but only one sound comes clearly to you. A small voice. Don't be a hero! You don't have to do this! Just run! At which point your fingertips freeze. And as if in slow motion. The building whose roof you were holding up crumbles and the pressure is too much as you feel heat dust clinging to the inside of your lungs and the weight of rock and responsibility pushing out your last breath. Talk when you get a long rest. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good job succeeding those saving throws. <laughs> in the morning <laughs> um, you see through the windows 
It's a slightly misty morning. Uh, the room slightly more colourful than first thought in the daytime light. The beds have been more than comfortable. Um, maybe some of the most comfortable you've slept in, maybe ever, if not for the lack of familiarity of home. It's a fresh morning. Um, Alora, you wake up with the... Uh, <laughs> initially you just see the hat, um, but as, uh, as Friends moves, you see, um, he almost, weirdly, when he's all rolled up and sleepy, fits perfectly under the hat. <laughs> um, you see that Friends has slept by your side for the night. I would love to cast speak with animals now. <laughs> yes. Thank Just... you so much, Naive. <laughs> <laughs> they appreciate I just heard so a small from her throat. <laughs> Go. Okie dokie. Good morning, friends. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's you. Hey, what's up? Wait, are you Good doing morning. the thing where you can talk to me again? I am. That's pretty cool. Do you like it? I like yeah, it too. I do, yeah. <laughs> Gonna be doing this all day, huh? We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. What do I sound like, by the way? I don't, I don't really know. Uh, you sound like a gruff fisherman who has seen a lot of things. <laughs> okay. You seem to just see, see his eyes squint a bit, trying to picture it. <laughs> okay, well... You, yeah. you know those men on boats that, that get, get a lot of fish. Oh, I've, I've seen them, but uh, my imagination ain't so high. Oh, that's that's perfectly fine, friends. Don't don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, is there uh, is there anything you wanted to ask? What? What's your favorite color? Uh, he kind of flies onto um <laughs> onto uh the top of the fireplace, the top of the hearth, and points at um the kind of dusky pink wallpaper with his beak. What color's that? That's pink. Oh. It's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, what awesome. color is everything else? There's a lot of different colors. Huh? There is. It all looks mm -hmm. the same to me. Are you... Friends, are you colorblind? What's that? <laughs> um, it's when it seems like there aren't any colors, or maybe there's just a few. You know, there's two. There's, there's two. A, there's this one, the the pat pank, and and then there's pank, <laughs> and then everything else is just like the color of the tips of my wings. But I don't know. They could be a crazy color for all I know. Hmm. I see. Well, let's go ahead and wake up slash join the others. Okay. Hey, everybody, wake up! And you just, <laughs> the rest of you just hear, <laughs> Wow. 
like that it's not. You can go. Yeah. Well, no, listen. <laughs> I, I like that it's not Gilbert Godfrey. It's specifically Iago. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for. It's got a lot more gruff in it. <laughs> it was probably initially meant to be Gilbert, but it's Gil Gilbert's not here today. Iago's oh, you got taking you, up the charge. Siegel's got to make it his own. I am I am flat starfished on the bed with my face in it because it's really nice to not have to hear any humping for one night. Get used, don't get used to it. <laughs> I'm not coming back to the bar. It's sleep outside. Oh my god! I need to wash my face. Oh, how you do that? <laughs> Is that another mm -hmm. nightmare? I'm, I'm sorry. Good morning. Good morning. Laura, you just say, Wake up, beefy! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, should I never made that asshole a hat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, it's cute. I mean, look at him. What are, what are they saying? My face is in the pillow. Beefon just doesn't want to wake up. <laughs> do, you, do you need me to sort it out? I, I think it's fine. Okay, oh, he'll, oh, he'll get up in a moment. I'm good. Um, Ludo, as and when you wake up, you see that Umberlie is like, her legs are in the bed, but the rest of her is like about to just roll off the bed. She's she's just like one of those ragdoll sleepers. <laughs> Like she just <laughs> drawn by the powers of magnetism to the edge of a bed. <laughs> All right, he'll he'll reach over and scoop her back onto the bed and kind of give her a bit of a, a wiggle, wiggle. Mm, good morning. Mm, good morning. Oh, oh, back in here. Yes. I didn't remember anything after the uh, palm trees. That we walked past. You don't remember getting caught then? You're joking. You're, you're, you're joking. Yes, I am, of course. Let's go <laughs> see the others for breakfast. We have a lot to do today. Yeah. God, that would be mortifying. We're not going to get caught. Ever. Of course not. No. Us, no. I feel like we might have been before, though. You're pretty... Your, your voice is very beautiful, and you know how to use it. Very loudly. Good Reg save. Regardless of who is there. Mm-hmm. Good save. Good save. <laughs> right. Well, aren't you on breakfast duty today? Oh, yes. We'll start the day off with the feast. Wait, no, is that tonight we're gonna do that? That was ambiguous. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, we gotta better hurry up because there's already like this big breakfast they made for us downstairs. It's <laughs> real good. <laughs> Beef on just tosses a laurel and apple, does it behind the back. Yeah. Over to Tarquin, throwing him some pancakes. Yeah, this was really good. It was. Courtyard smells like sex. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna go back that? and get some, some more. I was, you need Be to get some. This is really good. Before you see that friends is still just sitting on the hearth, but ve just very silently, but with their mouth wide open, like they're ready to catch whatever is tossed their way and eat it. <laughs> this is grape. <gasps> Oh, two more grapes. 
purple. The right kind, okay. You can kind of see them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love grapes! <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <sighs> so, what's everybody doing? No, I'm doing. <laughs> Probably, I am uh... eating and drinking a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially drinking. I got the continental buffet downstairs. And good stuff. Well, I know the first thing that uh, Bifon needs to do is head to the camp. First chance he gets. Okay. Don't want to stick around for breakfast first? We can fast forward through breakfast if you just want to hum, 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 get going. Well, I think uh, we were going to meet up for breakfast and discuss our plan, right? Yes, can do. Um, as as you uh, begin to wake up, you hear you hear a slight knock at the door. Doof, doof, doof. I've got a table near me today. <laughs> I am the door. <laughs> Are y'all decent? I look around to double check. <laughs> what What is Ludo's perception of decent? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. No genitalia nobody's are currently nude. visible. Yeah, nobody's okay. openly <laughs> nude. <laughs> Is the room well in close? <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Uh, see the door open and uh, see Fanai, let us say, uh, coming in already ready and dressed and presentable. First thing in the morning. It's kind of gross. Um, <laughs> like, no one should be that ready for a single thing. Um, just like, well, uh, we're all getting breakfast downstairs in a minute. If you want to come join, we can have a talk, have a break, break some bread. You know, have a, a cool down from last night. Sound Did you good, everybody? Mm -hmm. I, got, I got stuff to do, but I got a minute. Sure. Yeah. I am. Let's do it. Oh, all right. There's no pressure. I just didn't want uh, you guys to miss out on the croissants. <laughs> they are slightly burnt, but uh, thankfully some of the food from the different shops and stands survived the onslaught yesterday, which I know is not the uh, most important thing, but, you know, clouds, some linings, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll... Uh, See you down there. Okie dokie. Uh, closes the door. Heads down. Everybody get dressed. Pardon me. Everybody go down the breakfast. Unless anyone wants to do anything. Else. Um, but if not, you'll head down to breakfast. You do see a um, spread of slightly burned... Everything's uh, cooked in some fashion. Even just the fruit. Um, there is, like, just baked bananas and, uh, double-baked croissants and croissants. all sorts. Croissants? Croissants. Croissants. Um, <laughs> a whole spread, but it's all mostly edible. Um, and, uh, you see that, um... Oh, excuse me. Someone's at the front door. Apparently someone's at the front door. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you say that. I'll, right I'll go get him. I'll go get him. Don't worry. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Um, Who is so you it? Will... <laughs> you will end. It's Dario! Dario's finally arrived! <laughs> oh, my evil twin. My evil twin has come to kill me. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. That's great. <laughs> You're all gonna shit the bed when I actually introduce a character called Dario. Um, now you so, have to. 
yeah, I'm legally obliged, I think. Um, so, <laughs> yes, you all, <laughs> you all pile your plates up with various uh, breakfast bits and bobs. You see that um, Wilbur and Morena have had their share of breakfast already and they excuse themselves, uh, want to go and just have it peacefully in their bedroom after a stressful travel day and coming home to fireballs. Um, but they say, you know, they'll be about around in the palace all day. Uh, should they need, to, should you need anything or want to talk about anything? Um, and that Lady Atirin's already headed back to um, the camp aisle to check up on things, but help yourself, chill out on the aisles for as long as you need. Have breakfast, all that good stuff. Um, so yes, um, you do see uh, Fene and Riordan are midway through their breakfast and chatting. Riordan does look slightly um, nervous now that you guys have arrived. Just with the whole um, demon lord shenanigans from the night before. Where you perceived him to be a demon lord savior uh, of some sort. Um, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's, you know, otherwise seemingly happy to see you all. Um, so, yes. Oh, you guys uh, got plenty of food. Should be enough to take some with you if you want, I think. I might do the same. Um, <laughs> friends. Turns to you, Aloro. What? Can uh, can you can you bring me some 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 of them? Uh, he kind of looks at the croissants, not knowing what to call them. Uh, a croissant? Croissant? Oh, oh, what? Oh, what now? Hold on, Aloro. <laughs> Laro gets up and and grabs a couple croissants and then and comes back. Qua? Stay with me. Qua? Song. Song. Close enough. Here you go. <laughs> Friends will just start eat pecking at them and eating them and just look <laughs> to the rest of you. And same in in uh, bird language as it is in, in in human language. It just say. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Does a little happy stompy dance as he's eating them. <laughs> All right. Uh, as Ludo begins to tear into breakfast, he uh, addresses his friends around a mouth of food. <laughs> his friends and his friends his friends and his <laughs> companions so uh, what do you guys think about this uh, Esper's thing well as somebody said earlier assassination is kind of what it sounds like I don't know on one hand it could be a positive thing that we bring into the world. On the other hand, we could be dealing with a group that we don't understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think we should get ourselves involved in this, but uh, ultimately we have the power to make our own decisions if we see something that we don't like. I guess I we'll have to see whether they... <laughs> I guess we'll have to see if that is tolerable to this group or not for us to make our own decisions in the moment or maybe we don't I suppose we could also not ask them and just make our own decisions because we can <laughs> oh, just go with the uh, when do we ever rather than permission mm, <laughs> good point well as uh Someone who's been adventuring and questing for a while. Uh, you know, I find uh, my biggest problem is sometimes I don't know if the quest I'm given is uh, 
if the people hiring me are good people or maybe I do something and then it helps one person but hurts another person. Uh, in my experience, questing is always killing somebody. It's just a matter of who you're killing and who told you to kill them. I think I trust these people. And if I'm going to be going around killing people and eating monsters anyway, might as well do it for good people, right? At least this way, I'm doing it to uh, make a little money, have a very nice sponsor, and then also, you know, I still get to kill and eat monsters. And I mean, respectfully, if she's asking you all to do that, then oh, don't take this the wrong way, but she doesn't exactly seem as if she has the most resources for this team, so you might have more bargaining chips than you realise, potentially. If you are the only team that she has, then she might be more lenient in terms of negotiations. Give us a lot of stuff, eat a lot of good food, get some nice, uh, Maybe, Darion, you want the, uh, I don't know, like a nice crown? Maybe be fun, we get you some pretty clothes. Aluro, you want a, I don't know, you want a nice little collar for your cats? Mm. I keep hearing about this Dario. <laughs> Boy, I hope he's not hiding around here somewhere. Some enemy we have yet to meet. We don't know of. My hiding in the shadows. My bad. <laughs> I'm glad you guys thought of this more than just simply, hey, some money, a great quest, some good adventuring. You know, we were just dealing with those nightingales who seemed like they weren't going to give up until we were dead. I kind of mm. don't want to be the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Um... You guys make great points. Glad to have you guys as partners. Yeah, simply put, for all we know, some of these people are using powers to make a lot of balloons for orphans or something. We don't know yet. We don't know what the deal is. And What's yeah, wrong with I agree. Balloons for orphans. No, I would say that's a great thing. Oh, okay. Apparently all these people are saying. evil or something like that, but we don't know that. And yeah, we can make our own decisions in this. So I'm in, I guess. Friends. Yes. Sir. Mm, true. Dead in, I'm in. That's what you hear, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> I put my faith in France. Whatever they said, I stand behind. All right. All right. It's decided then. Please, everybody, eat your fill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you all eat in the presence of uh, Thanae and Riordan and also Umbrella. Um, and... The day is yours. You're currently in the palace. Um, you know there to be some poisonous, poisonous little uh, flowers and stuff here. Uh, you also know there's hopefully still a worm outside that you can joyride on to wherever you would like around the aisles without leaving the aisles entirely. Um, <laughs> not, not because you're not allowed, but probably because the spell would wane if... Uh, the worm got a certain distance away from your. Uh, you can go back to the Wolganon Islands and check out the cave. You can go back to the sea. You can go back to the Basilisk Arena. You can go back to the mainlands. You can... Many things. Many things possible. Or you can just say, Alright, we're in! And be like, where do we go now? New. Whichever you I'm like. cool with grabbing some poison. Uh, I need to go and wake up Luca. 
Uh, would like to go to the Walden Island. Uh, don't know if any of you want to pick up that really nasty poison that's over there. I want to see that cave that was in the cave, the one that went down. Uh, cave, cave. And check on our friends at the bar and Amelia and her group. I'm not sure where Birdman is. Is he still in the arena? Uh, you don't know. Oh, we can also check there. <laughs> I don't know. That guy's got some really bad luck. Maybe we should just leave him. He's somehow going to die again in this in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But yeah, uh, if you guys want to grab the poison, that's cool. But. Uh, Want to check out the cave? My priority is uh, waking up Luca right now, though. So, whatever we gonna do first, let me know. I think uh, let's go. Uh, let's go do everything on your list, and then the plan is tonight we'll come back, and during the feast of the three hunts, we'll reveal our answer to the royal family. Ooh. Okay. Nice. That's a good point. So official. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Just like, all right, bitches, slam hands. <laughs> we'll take your deal. That's it. <laughs> we'll take your deal. Oh, okay. <laughs> for now, all for right. sure, let's definitely go see Luca. I can't wait to see them up and out again. Okay. I'm gonna go revive Luca first. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, you go outside, the worm isn't there. Just kidding, that would suck. Uh, the worm is there. Um, or slightly uh, more transparent than usual, as it seems to be curled up and uh, resting. What would you What would you like to do? How How do you um, Happy Valentine's Day in advance? How do you activate the worm? It is It is just there, seemingly napping. Eyes closed. I'm gonna pet it. <laughs> cool. Are you Falcor? <laughs> Morning. Just you just feel a deep reverberation in um, in the ground. Your hairs stand on end with an arcane flourish. And you see what well, once kind of curled up cinnamon swirl of of worm <laughs> now extends um, to its regular size. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, to be able to fit all of you. Happy Valentine's Day. On its back. <laughs> Not one there, I don't think. But yes! He wants to drive the drive. He wants to drag the dragon. It's not a dragon, it's a worm. There are no dragons. I say that. <laughs> I do. It's low. I'll take the reins this time. I'm usually in the back. Nice. Okay. Roll an animal handling check for me, please. Oh, or arcana damn. <laughs> Or an arcana check. Either or. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, this is an animal handling thing. Immediately steers into a tree. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen will do the job. All right. You nice. steer it over to the main aisle. Just shimmering in the sky. Little arcs, little, like a little gentle kitty roller coaster. Um, and gently come down and land next to the main tent. Um, okay, you will dismount, um, and as you are about to enter into the tent, you see Yanka also about to enter into the tent through the same door. She looks tired, a bit disgruntled. Um, but otherwise, fairly neutral. And kind of catches your eyes. Morning. Uh oh, Dark Queen. I would like to roll initiative. No, I'm sorry. 
Um. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly can if you would like. Has she been informed about our demands? You don't know. Okay, then I'm gonna cross my arms and look at her with all the anger in the world. <laughs> Roll an you know, intimidation check. Yes. <laughs> I warn that you, is... she's a mother. She is not easily intimidated. <laughs> that is 13. Okay. I shall roll on her behalf. That is an 18 before her additions, I'm afraid. She stares you back down. Although she is maybe half your height. She's she's not backing down. Just kind of tilts her head and folds her arms. You got a problem? Yeah, you are the problem. Oh yeah. Even though I saved your asses last night. You you didn't save anything. You shot at us. During the trial, yeah. Because it's a competition. But it's not between off. us. Not anymore. You Kept play dirty of... and I don't like that. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I wish I could bring back the uh, couple of guys that were on your tails last night. After the trials. You know, one day you're gonna need help. And you're not gonna get it. Hmm. You will regret this, I promise you. The only thing I regret is helping you last night, after the trial. You know, when it really counted. Yeah. Ooh. Count your blessings. What, what is that, Yanka? We were being attacked last night? <sighs> yeah. While you were going around trying to save everyone, and then you went up to the aisles, the mistress told me, or hired me effectively to make sure that you weren't followed, that you weren't tailed, and that you weren't attacked further. I did my job. The mistress. Itirin. Hmm. Can I roll insight to see if I uh, believe her? Certainly may. Ooh. 24. She's telling the truth, and uh, you recollect very briefly uh, while you were speaking with the turn last night, she did mention having um, recruited Yanka for something special. And apparently it was watching out for your asses. And she actually did her damnedest to do that. Her voice isn't strong and slightly quivering because she's upset at the accusations. She's Her voice is strong and quivering because she's slightly upset that she was believed irredeemable outside of the trials. Okay. Uh, Ludo will cross his arms next to Tarquin. I almost called you Darian again. <laughs> <laughs> he'll stand beside his buddy with his arms crossed as well and say, you may have saved us, but that was only because you were ordered to. Tarquin is right. You don't fight fair, but you did. Whatever you did that was good for us, you only did because it was your job. I think in the future, Yenka, it's best if you stay out of our way. Do you all want that? I really don't care. I have a cleric to see. Fair enough. Well, if you don't want me to help, I don't gotta help. 
There you go, making assumptions again. Are you going inside? I'll pass this time. I'll go in later. I don't want to offend any of you. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I'll see you later when you decide to let other people think for themselves instead of thinking for them. I'll be in here, guys. Nice. Get her. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. All right. Be following we'll after be fun. Oh. Mm-hmm. So inside, you see uh, much the same crowd as before. You see, kind of in the wing that you're entering. You see Orla and Zephyr, uh, kind of napping next to each other on adjacent cots. Uh, you see um, the Octol has woken up and is kind of gently sat up eating some breakfast porridge. By the looks of it, uh, Erwin isn't too far away. Uh, seemingly having brought porridge for everyone. Um, you see <laughs> uh, in the main kind of area, you see the same uh, bodies lined up. You see... Um, Luca, Christy, Christy's boss, and Yorium, uh, Uncle Jing Jong. Uncle Jing Jong. <laughs> and you also see a petrified Aracocra, uh, <laughs> who looks as if his okay. feet have had to be chiseled out of uh, rock. Um, he is still in his petrified stone form, but he also began to meld with what looked like the arena floor and they had to kind of chisel him out Yikes. um and you don't see petal or sideburns or ick or at the moment to tear in hmm. but the doors to uh Ictor's office are closed Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wonder what she's been doing all night. <laughs> so, what would you like to do first? Lots of people to talk to. Lots of enemies to make. No, I'm kidding. That's what I came coming. here to do. Yeah, go straight to Luca. Mm-hmm. I already know what's going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you guys want to watch, you guys want to see some torture? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Uh, you head over to Luca. Um, do you kind of move her towards the center of the room a bit to give some space for whatever rituals, spell, whatever you are about to cast? Is that a thing I need to do? That's up to personal preference. I just want to get this done. All right. If I didn't have to sleep, I wouldn't have slept. Okay. Let me find the song. Okay. So, there. <laughs> I wasn't purposefully going to do it, but I was about to say, here lies Luca. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> there before you. Nope, still bad. Um, she did. Nope. Uh, <laughs> Luca is there. Um, as she was. Uh, last night, kind of peace, somewhat peacefully at rest, um, with her arms by her sides, large burns covering her, I don't know why it's important, right arm <laughs> up to her shoulder, kind of climbing up her clavicle and neck. What 
what would you like to do or say? And by that, I suppose, I mean... Have you got the incantation? Do you remember the words, Bifon? I take Lu I sit beside Luca, take her hand, and focus on that little energy that still remains inside her. All right, here goes. Um. Uh. Akana Bay. Denon Sway. Undil Mogra Bas. Oh, I must have got it right. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> And he summoned another demon. <laughs> that was so funny and so fucked up at the same time. <laughs> Lucas Soul, is that you? Oh shit! <laughs> I've become too powerful. <laughs> um, She's on the other side me. of the door. Roll for me, please. A, I guess, an arcana or a religion check. At advantage, please. A ten or above means that the spell will work instantaneously. You get advantage because you were pretty much spot on with the friggin' pronunciation. G -g -g. Oh, the first one was a three. Second one's a nineteen plus one for a twenty. <sighs> what happened? <sighs> Did I almost get it right? Almost perfect. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Well, I was I was going to judge okay. it by three levels of of rightness. So you'd either get advantage, not get advantage, or get disadvantage. But you got you got advantage. So just as oh, well. Oh, that's that's a good way to do it. Yeah. That, yeah. Thank no, you. no, no. That's good. Thank you so much. Um. Hi. I'm DM. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> shut up. Anyway. Um, <laughs> gonna just fire myself. So. Place your hand on hers and exclaim these words softly but pronounced with purpose, with meaning. As you do, the doorbell rings. It's funny, you s it's funny you say that. You see dark tears begin to roll from her eyes, Ooh. falling down around, kind of trickling very gently but steadily from her cheek. As the tears continue, you see they take the form of the four circles around her, with her in the centre, and they're perfectly reflective and dark, but clear, not in a ominous way, just like a very nighttime reflective late you see the others in the room all watching like a dropped roll of fine chiffon you see that smoke billows either side of her from below towards the ceiling as if gravity is reversed and begins to drift and curl into a form a smaller shadowy figure than you saw last night, kind of encased in this smoky diamond in the centre. The figure kneels down, almost opposite where you were before, and delicately wipe her tears with spindly pale fingers gently pushing back her hair from her forehead and reaching down 
to kiss it. A small glow of gold begins to emanate from that point, growing brighter and larger and more magnificent. The smoke from the figure sinking back into the pools, slowly revealing this glowing form of Luca. And as the last drops of the tears melt into the ground below, you see Luca's eyes begin to open. You see a breath enter her and linger. Before a gentle yet slightly fraught exhale. Roll a perception check for me if you will, friends. <laughs> if you're so will. Shout out to the episode Aladdin DLC to Final Fantasy XV for the bangers today. <laughs> I heard this, I was like, oh my god, this is it. This is the Luca song right here. <laughs> Holy moly. It says Key has minimized their application sit tight on <laughs> the stream stream. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it was just extra epic when it was like, okay, silence now for this oh, this no. monologue. It was cool though. It was cool. It was cool. Okay. Watch, watch it with the song later. <laughs> it's really cool, I promise. Cool. I'm working with one monitor today. The impossible DM task. Oh. DMing with one screen. How'd everybody do with the perception? Did everyone get above a 13? No. Oh. I think all of us but Al got above a 13. Lori, you're just watching this mm. lady glow. It's magnificent bright light. And just... I think... For the first time, maybe really beginning to sink in... The potential of deities because you know you're being sent on this mission to find any false deities and false altars and everything but what you just witnessed <laughs> cool <laughs> that, was, that was next level <laughs> you know um so you're just kind of taking all of that in and trying to process it um as it's going on the rest of you, potentially likewise as well. But you do notice that Luca's eyes are a shade or two darker blue than they were before. But she is alive. She's breathing. And she seems to be a bit lost right now. But peaceful, but lost. <laughs> Uh, where... Where am I? Not dead. Oh. That's always nice to hear. Did... Did you contact... My deity? I, uh, might have, yeah. Huh. Wow. Um. Wow. Thank you. That cannot have been easy.
I heard you in there, so if we can help it, we don't leave anybody behind. So welcome back, kid. <laughs> Thanks. All of you. Thanks. She kind of looks down next to her and sees the other three bodies that still remain. <sighs> Once I'm healed up, I may be able to assist with this to a certain extent. I'm not sure, but one thing at a time. That you would even think to try makes us feel like we made a good decision bringing you back. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'm gonna go and find some salve for my arm. Uh, did everyone... She kind of oops, squints her brows, almost remembering something very quickly. Uh, did everyone make it out safely? Uh, is is the danger gone? Is, is everything okay now? I... For now. It could have been much, much worse. <sighs> okay. That's good. Oh. Thank you. Oh, hey. really? Hey, hey, DM. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey, DM. Can I can I talk to you for a minute? Um. You as it. What? What's the name of the place we're supposed to bring her? The Shinwa Viaducts. Ah, yeah. Hey, Luca. Uh, yeah. You ever heard of a uh, Shinwa Viaduct? Uh, I not right now. It's not coming to. That's well, quite all right. <laughs> um, you um, you get some rest. Don't worry too much. Uh, everybody's been handling things and bringing some order. Um, just glad to have you back. Thanks. It's good to be back. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just go and have a breather and think and commune. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys later, though. And holy mothers, you really contacted Actil enough to bring me back? <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's like a a demon, right? They they are a demonic deity, but uh, it's it's complicated. Um, have you heard tale of? Those who are celestial or angelic that, for whatever reason, rightfully or wrongfully fall or lose their ascension? Uh-huh, yeah. Well, that's how demons are made, and it doesn't necessarily mean they're bad. I mean... Tieflings have demonic origin, and they're not all bad by any means. So, same applies for demonic deities. Hmm. Plus, I think the way that they see the world and the meanings behind it all is something I believe in. To have a deity that sees the world through that lens, 
it's comforting and caring and being able to share that comfort and love is all the more pleasure. Neat. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. Thank you. I am glad also. But uh, I will see you later. Unless there's anything you need right now? Not right now. Hey, you just hear Erwin to the side go, Yeah, go and get some rest, girl. She needs... She needs a break, right? Oh, yes, quite. Um, thank you. Um, I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> and she kind of runs, runs out. <laughs> um, or well, gen gently, gently jogs out. Um, <laughs> and a cat suddenly appears. Uh, ah. very sorry, I'm also cat sitting right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they are adorable and uh, being, they're starting to get excited again. <laughs> Live action Vinny. <laughs> really? That's exactly what it is, actually. Yeah, he comes in like, <laughs> and then he just goes, <clears throat> I mean, ah, you're all here. Sorry, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> A talking cat? W I've always what? spoke. I always speak. <laughs> I just sometimes I forget myself. You know, you have such a good catnap, and you just resort to your feline ways. It's not ideal. I'll go and uh, watch over Luca, though. Make sure she's okay. Also, who doesn't love a cat hug? And you know, I didn't used to be into cat hugs, but I have to say, you all you all have sold me on it quite a bit. <laughs> so let me go give her a kitty hug. Yes. Mm, puddles out <laughs> and any future cat noise we will blame on Finny uh <laughs> <laughs> or me <laughs> oh no <laughs> yes um so we have Octo we have uh, Icta's tent closed and we have Orla and Zephyr nipping what would anybody like to do if anyone would like to do anything? Um, wouldn't mind checking on Amelia and uh, have a feeling that I'm going to have to make a choker with a bell on it for someone now. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'll do that sleight of hand roll later. <laughs> yeah, whatever you guys want to do. I am down. Um, you see, as you're in there, kind of figuring out what's next, um, Octal just waves at Tarquin awkwardly. Or waves at you all, and then waves at Tarquin slightly more awkwardly than the rest. Ah. Oh. My friend. How are you? <laughs> oh, oh. Hello as well, friends. <laughs> um, I'm sorry I was slightly out of commission last night. How are you feeling? Oh, you know, less dead. Um, the ribs uh, could could use a couple of new ones. Uh, generally less pain than the implation. If, if that's the right word for it, but um, it's still not pleasant. Uh, it's been a been a rough couple of days, but I believe there was something you wanted to speak about. Yes, I would like to talk to you if uh, you have a second. Oh, he just kind of sh shrugs at the bed that he's in. Still on bed rest, so not going. All right. Yes, I, I just wanted to talk to you about something personal, and um, 
But first I wanted to see if you were alright, and I am glad to see that you're fine. Yeah, likewise. So, uh, well, here's the thing. Um, I kind of noticed, and I was, uh, well, I'm not really the more kind of person that realizes about feelings, but uh, what I noticed is that, uh, I mean, I, I know how you look at me, <laughs> and um, honestly, uh, I'm kind of getting the feeling that you're somehow sad because of that. Are you in pain? Uh, you see him try to contain a blush. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna try and lie to you, cause he's <laughs> got a lot going on. Ooh, um, that is an 18. Nice. Deception check. So feel free to counter roll. Ooh, he's a slippery one. What roll do I have to make? Uh, 18 to beat. Just a uh, 20. Just twenty. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I have to roll a twenty. Uh, no, eighteen. Eighteen to beat. Yes, but it's just a, a twenty die. Um, you can either Plain roll. Um, you can either roll an insight or a perception check. Okay. In, against. Um... Yeah, insight. Um... Yeah. Finny. That's fifteen. Please. 15. Okay, so not quite. Um you see you see there's you definitely see a blush happen. Um you can't tell exactly why though. Uh and he just goes, Oh but you seem quite astute at detecting feelings. What makes you think that you're not? I don't believe you've misread mm. anything no well uh, i mean i mean i'm not really the most uh, i mean i'm good at fighting i'm good at saving the world but uh, when it comes to dealing with you know uh, just giving the right impression and trying to not hurt anyone i i may not be that good so i just wanted to check and see if you were feeling all right, and uh, if not, then probably have a conversation because the last thing I would like is for you to feel bad. Well, in what way could you hurt me? Well, I don't know. Without I... punching me, of course. Like you, like you said, you're an incredible fighter. Well, maybe, I don't know, you just uh, wanted to be my friend and perhaps we weren't really that much of a friend to each other and maybe you were a little disappointed, so... I just wanted to let you know that, you know, I can be a, your friend if you ever need that and... Uh, well, <laughs> that's it, I just don't want you to feel bad. Oh, well... I, I already took us for friends, I don't know if I... Uh... Jumped, jumped the gun there, but no, no, Darkwing, gods, no, you haven't upset me, not in the slightest. All right, well, uh, now I feel, I feel better now, because I thought I did something wrong. But no, uh, no. <laughs> if um... you ever need a resistance or anything, you know, you have allies in us, and of course that includes the great Tarquin. So you're covered. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you Can see I him... punch him in the shoulder, like, not 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 really hard, but like. Yeah. Full <laughs> <laughs> crit damage. Go ahead, roll it. <laughs> yeah, surprise I'm attack. Gonna do... attack. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, no, no, <laughs> flurry of blows. No, this isn't flurry of blows. <laughs> this is just a <laughs> nice friendly gesture. All right, I I feel better now. Um, Thank you, Octo, and I hope that you have a speedy recovery. Oh, well, thank you. I, uh, you know, probably have a cool limp for a while. Be able to tell the story. How I got completely blasted by a fireball, or two, or 
Three. Yes. You will be fine. I know that. Thank you. All right, so she, he wanted to keep it. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Oh, his heart is so broken, but his 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 deception was so high. <laughs> yeah, I tried. <laughs> I know you did. It was like it was really nice. It's like nah, he's he's gonna try and hide that shit. I won't let you hurt me again. Yeah, no. It's yeah, fine. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> what? Well, oh, an no, attempt was what? made. So he thought we were. I like 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 you want this, this crazy bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're just the hottest, nicest, most talented person I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh bless him. Hey. All right, what do, what do we do next? Um. <laughs> hey, Alora, I made this um. Oh my god. Choker for you with a bell at the end of it. It's a 17 roll quality piece. I took the <laughs> ball out of it so that you could still keep doing stealth and stuff. So it doesn't actually ring. It's just it's just pretty. That's all. Thank you, b <laughs> She's gonna give him a, a nice pat on the back and a real like bro side hug. <laughs> I can't just keep making things for the bird now. Oh no, of course not. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Yay. How long does speak with animals last? Out of curiosity. That mm. is a good question. And I think I was just looking at that. Ten minutes duration, which is... I always forget okay. how many turns that is. But it, we're not in battle, so it doesn't matter. It would technically um, be like... 10 minutes would technically be 100 turns in battle. Yeah, which is crazy. That's Stupid. so long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking God save any fight that goes on for 100 rounds. Jesus. Yeah. For Holy real. Holy moly. It's just that thing in Baldur's Gate where you walk into a room and it just... And you just see all the portraits at the top appear and you're like, no. No, stop! Yeah. <laughs> It goes no, across and then the screen they, and all the portraits. Yeah, and then uh, they summon something each, and you're like, yeah. no! <laughs> and then you summon something to make make their summon things die, and you're like, no, God, please, why? <laughs> okay, so we have poison plants, Wilgernon Island, uh, maybe Basilisk Island, maybe. Let's see. Um, um. There was also mention of seagulls last week or last time as well. So, or or there is indeed the closed doors of Victor's homemade torture chamber, <laughs> potentially. Ooh, DM. Yeah. I'd like to roll it inside an insight check with this um, this cup here placed to the door. <laughs> it is it is like a cloth door. It's been like tied Aww. down. So you would you'd still you you just be you don't need the cup. Like you can just lean in and I'll hear just it casually it walk by the curtain. <laughs> okay. Okay. Roll. 22. Is that uh uh what's that? Insight. Oh, insight. And then also roll a stealth check for me, please. Oh. Because if there is anyone in there, you don't want to get caught. Ugh, a ten. Mm. So basic. You believe that anyone inside the tent would have no reason to know of your presence? Um, with a twenty-two. It's quiet in there. Maybe, maybe a little too quiet, either in an ominous way or indeed a way that suggests no torture, or that the torture is over. I However, smell blood. Well, it's funny you ask. You do, however, <laughs> just pick up on faint whiffs. 
of iron and faint whiffs of something else you can't quite put your finger on. Doesn't seem to be a human fluid, so to speak. Um, it seems more be like an Valentine's incense. Oh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> not that kind of torture chamber. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, yeah, it seems to be more like an incense or spice kind of smell. Um, would you like to take a peek? Through through the curtain. In for a penny. <laughs> okay. Uh, In for a dime package. A. a <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've got to harmonize next time. That was great. Um. A. <laughs> a. a. Um, Looking through the curtain, you see seemingly just Icta's desk. Um, Behind it is Icta kind of slumped down on it, asleep. Um, she is breathing. With the 22 you can tell she is asleep, not dead. Um, and while you don't see either of the potential um, interrogatees, you do see a slight weight against the cloth of the tent uh, between kind of her office area and the main area that would suggest that two things are leaning up against the wall that you're currently listening through but just kind of out of sight so like either side of the door it's safe to say there is maybe a slumped possibly sleeping possibly dead body DM, do we have scary, sneaky music? Oh, I'm sorry. Is it not scary enough for you? It's kind of light and kind of jovial. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's, it's so spooky, it, and then the music you is... You make it scary. Mm. <laughs> Too there scary. He's a... Th- <laughs> Ludo has nightmares tonight. There we go. <laughs> Eats too much cheese at festival of. I'm well, not a cheese mare. Feast. Mm, <laughs> chocolate and kind. cheese mare. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you like to do you can relate this information to the party should you say it oh. or you can head on in the himbo becomes the heist <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tarquin. Do me a favor, uh, keep an eye out. Of course, I am a great, great guard. I feel like I should go in. I, do we have a relationship. I don't think she'll be too angry with me if she catches me. All right, so what do I got to do? There is only one way to find out. Well, Um, I guess we're going to find out or not. (laughs) It's up to you if you have a plan other than just tiptoeing in and trying to be sneaky. But you are well within your rights to tiptoe in and be sneaky. 
which would be a stealth uh, skill throw. Is there another exit? To uh, Ictor's office? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. The whole thing is like a, like a big, slightly fancy tent, right? Like it's got yeah. kind of a proper floor, but it's mostly pop-up kind of canvas. Um, with a slightly more structured framing. There you really isn't anything to do besides step in or peek in or walk in and take a look. You can go through the doors, the corporate doors, the fabric doors, or I mean, you know, dagger to the canvas probably would work if you wanted mm. to go in through the back. Nah, no traces if we're going to do it. I mean, you are superb with a needle. (laughs) I'm just saying. I'm just saying. (laughs) It's Tutorial Island, I will point out. (laughs) I I assume that the tent is very taut, so I probably won't be able to slip underneath. It would be a difficult dexterity throw, but I would allow you to try. All right. I'm just gonna tiptoe in. Roll for me a stealth check, please. Nineteen. Ooh, you believe yourself to be undetected. But to be fair, I say that regardless of whatever you roll for stealth. Because that's stealth, baby. Um. You need to roll something real quick. Okay. Okay. Actually, I need to roll the third thing. Oh, okay. As you tiptoe in, you see Ictus' deep breaths continue. Not even so much as shifting in her sleep as you enter. Your larger frame and wider feet giving you enough surface area to provide a fairly stealthy basis for sneaking. To your left as you enter, you see sideburns, seemingly unconscious, slightly bloodied, um, but bound at the hands and feet and a connecting chain um, between them behind his back kind of laid up against the canvas wall as you're about to turn to the right and see who's there you hear a loud whisper which I will do in stage form because the microphone is slightly far away while I'm here. <laughs> Just in case. Are you busting us out then? As you see a slightly bloodied, a slightly more bloodied, also bound petal at the side on the right. Although it's just her hands that are bound. Making sure you guys are not dead yet. You hanging in there? Oh yeah, I just didn't really have anything much to add other than what I already told her. What about Slappy over there? He say anything interesting? Not a peep. No, she tried, though. I see that. Hang tight. If you get out of this, I'll get you a drink. Are you actually seeing then, us out? And with that, beef on just Homer Simpson's out of the tent. That's pretty good visual. Yes. I can totally see it. 
Bifon becomes Bouchon. <laughs> I, it seems very clear to me. Um, yeah, I'm not going to disturb that whole situation, but she's not getting out, anything out of them. That's probably why she fell unconscious. Mm, Bifon with the Bouchon. Um, sorry. <laughs> I genuinely don't think Petal has anything to, anything to add to that. Don't know about Cyber. You, so. you may roll an insight check if you would like. On that. In for a dime. Uh, what comes after that? In, in for a... That's ah, a measly 12. What does that get me? She seems to have literally told Icta as much as she told you, um, which is unsatisfying, but seemingly true. Hmm. Yeah. So I think I rolled an inside check on her as well when mm -hmm. I talked to her. So. You did. Okay. I didn't think she was not going to torture them, but I didn't know how bad it would be. All right. I mean, the bird's still alive. For now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Talk when you see Heist Beef on Reimberg. <laughs> All good? Yeah, they really got roughed up, but I don't think she's getting anything out of them. Whether they're really good at keeping their mouth shut or not, I'm not sure. I don't think Petal knows much beyond what she's told us, though. I think torture probably isn't the right way to get something out of them. They must be accustomed to pain. Highly agree. Alright, guess we'll join the others. Yes, let's go. Meanwhile, Lutu and Aloro, what are you getting up to? Just Aloro's just like, I got this new necklace look, and then rings the bell, but it doesn't ring. <laughs> <laughs> not to put canon into, exactly into it was world. a hard decision it's like it's got no bell in it though but you know, it's so, so cute i love it <laughs> <laughs> we can say it canonically occasionally rings just because you know we've got we've got uh diegetic cat sitting oh. bells happening so it rings in like heartfelt moments Yes. You don't want to put like a silent spell or anything on it because then when you go to stealth, you will forget if you left it on or off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Better to just not give the option. Or just True. You, cast, you cast silent on it and then you cast another concentration spell and forget that concentration is needed for silence. And then you're like, it's fine, you guys, it won't ring dingling. Fuck. <laughs> Y'all are a bunch of fucking nerds. Yeah. <laughs> you know <You're> it. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to Tales of the Torn Veil. Well, look, if this is if this is the bar, and it wasn't me trying to figure out how many gallons of water a bag of holding can fit <laughs> before it rips a hole into a pocket veil and unleashes fish into some yeah, space. Yeah, believe we did math or realm. <laughs> That's complicated math as well, because it's like it says it in like. No, I was here doing it too. Grams, but not in, but not in fucking water weight. It's a total pot and kettle situation. Somebody said math. Uh, I was like, "Ooh, let me look that up." Hold on, I was like, "How's that go?" To be fair, though, I only do math on things I hyperfixate on, so it kind of paid off, really. Thankfully, it was D and D. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're gonna head to the Isle, the Caves, the Caves. Okay, so you will board back on the Worm Wheel. Who's driving this time? Aluro will drive. <laughs> hey. Yell first or <laughs> lose shotgun privileges. <laughs> Alright, roll an animal handling check for me, please. Lorari! Or oh, Arcana. Animal handling or Arcana.
15. That is enough. Um, you safely, um, gently drive the worm. <laughs> Call it driving, it's fine. Uh, you drive the worm safely back to um, the Ashen Forest Isle, where the first trial of the hunt took place all but, like, four days ago. It felt like a lot longer than that, but what's happened in four days? And um, you safely again spiral down and land um, kind of on the edge of the forest um, next to uh, the plane where you fought, not like an aeroplane, but the grassland where you fought the Wolganon. Um, a lot of which is still there. Um, most Mostly kind of not quite rotted away, but getting there. Um, pieces and chunks of it missing. Do you head into the cave? Absolutely. Yes. Sweet. Now, as you may or may not remember, there is a drop from floor one of the cave to floor basement of the cave. Um, I believe it was 20 or so feet. So, how would you guys like to address the drop? I've been thinking about this for a while. I'm going to oh. uh, take some of my rope hey. and I'm going to string it through uh, oh Oh, there's one thing I'm missing. Anybody have a lantern? Because I have a torch, actually. Nope, I don't. Uh, Ludo Shit. can cast light on whatever you like. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we should definitely cast some light um, the full 20 feet and 10 feet down, like halfway. Okay. No, please. You do so. As you do, you see the torch that was thrown down there last time. <laughs> to light the way. Oh, cool. I'll have two torches. <laughs> and no lantern. <laughs> All right. Well, um... Guess I'll go first. Okay, what are you tying the rope to? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Guess I'll use my torch and see what's in this cave. <laughs> <laughs> um, my brain is like just automatic. It's like, oh, there's a thing that I can just put this thing in. Okay. <laughs> mm. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to prepare you for life after Look, tutorial island <laughs> yeah yeah no 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 that's not gonna good. be too I'll, pedantic, I'll get to, yeah i'll get to know what it is you you do actually point out versus what you don't um roll an investigation yeah, just looking... check for me before thank you uh, others may help should you so wish to look for an anchor point for the rape oh it's a big old three there this is brittle branch a... you've seen you've seen a lot of rocks in your time <laughs> <laughs> i i just i would love just a collection of the first lines i give to a, a failed like a clearly failed role because it mm -hmm. just it just comes <laughs> so easily to my brain it's so stupid just you seen a lot of rocks in your time <laughs> when you're a five your aunt used to make you the best spaghetti. It's like, where is this going? Um, <laughs> you've seen a lot of rocks in your time. You know that there are igneous rocks, other rocks, because that part of uh, science was not interesting to my brain. And a lot of the rocks that aren't igneous are not porous. They are solid. Solid as a rock. Key change. Um... You see a beautiful rock on the ground. Now, to any other dis 
undiscerning eye, this rock would be far too small and far too light to hold this rope. But not, not to you, Beetle. Not to you. You've seen rocks. Though it may not immediately feel as heavy as one's thought as you pick it up in your hand, you're a strong guy. Maybe that's just because you're really strong. Um, but it is solid. You have some faith it can it can hold the weight of the rope. Uh, everyone else, you see Bifon pick up a <laughs> concerningly small rock and just kind of place it on the end of the rope. Look very proud of himself. You okay? <laughs> I'm. I have a tendency to leap before I look sometimes. Um, very. Very concerned right now. Um, would anybody like to help me? Which which one's the might and which one is the like tight? Um, ha- hang tight. So, if it's on the ceiling, it's the like tight. That's probably not a good idea. The rope's going to slip off that. You see Friends hops onto the rock that is currently sat on the rope and kind of nestles down on it. I remove uh, the rope from the rock, but I will take the rock with me. I'll place it in my bag and I will uh, wonder how I got to be so stupid uh, considering Tarquin <laughs> escaped shitting himself, and I'm just gonna sit in the corner and hope somebody can uh, fix this for me. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's see. Uh, you want to take that stone all the way down? Is that what I'm thinking? No, forget the stone. <laughs> I just need to find. Some, I just need to find some place to put the rope so we can climb down in the hole. In 73 episodes, Bifon will have made a miniature sword and stuck it in that stone and it will be a major plot thing. We're gonna do something <laughs> with it. That um, we don't expect. <laughs> and I'm here for it. I definitely need I some meditation. <laughs> uh, my brain is melting. Because I am really, really good at uh, exploring caves and uh, I can see in the dark. I can jump really high and fall very... No, and don't hurt myself. So if that is something that we can use, then I am here. Hmm. I mean, if you'd like, I mean, I just hope there's nothing down there. Yeah, it depends how deep this thing goes. Uh, Have a nice day. You said it was 20 feet, right? Yeah. I can jump cave, that easily. The cave mouth is about... Oh my gosh! I <laughs> what? <laughs> Cats land on their feet, <laughs> like within oh. that about a distance. That's not crazy. <laughs> Twenty feet. Ilura, Ilura, time for a competition. Let's see who falls better. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this can only go well. If if there's something way too big down there, you guys jump right back up. I'm going to go sit on that much larger rock and hold my head in my hands. Oh. <laughs> oh, <you see> <laughs> <laughs> yes, incredible. <laughs> all right. So, how... I can't believe I'm asking this. How are y'all falling? Hang on. I'm Where's doing this because I have slow fall, which is uh, oh. one of the skills that monks have so I basically I I kind of don't take any damage from this hide so I can pull it's free for me I want to be like you when I grow up and remember all my skills (laughs) it will come with time (laughs) Loro I was just quickly confirming that my cat science was correct, and it is. <laughs> you do, you do Good also job. have. You do. I also want to be have... like you too, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you do also have the thing. 
And I will That's say... This one is true. or two of those things may or may not be what you need. It's incredibly unlikely that you'll land on them, but it's possible. <laughs> I think... Are allowed to use I think it. I want to. I want to save it. I want to okay. make sure fair, that I can use it at the most <laughs> opportune moment. Um, I am excited. <laughs> I know <laughs> you put so much work into it. It's amazing. The, the Gosh, will, it's amazing. The people will know when it happens, <laughs> and it will be marvelous. <laughs> so right. I'm gonna I'm gonna wild shape myself into a cat and. Very important. Hop question. on down that way. What kind of cat? <gasps> Ooh! I'm gonna go with a hairless cat, just to be oh, interesting. Just a little, little sphinx cat? Uh-huh. Okay. See, now, I need to work out in my brain if slow fall actually makes you fall slower. And if that would be a slower fall than a cat jumping down somewhere. I'm gonna have one hell of a show watching that cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll a dice. Tarquin, high or low? High. You both ready yourself, and on <laughs> on friends is you both jump slash fall down the hall, and Deloro little kitty feet land on the damp rock below slightly moments before Tarquin lands softly like a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta work on my timing. I cannot be beaten by felines. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cats have light vision, I believe. I think they show it in here, either way. Um, scary music time again! Um, no, I'm kidding. Am I? So. Maybe this one. Yeah! As you leap down into the cave cave, basement cave, um, you see it's immediately a lot damper down here, a lot mustier, a kind of a slight glisten to the rocks around. You see mushrooms broken off of the walls, some intact, but the ones lower down seem to have been either impacted or otherwise moved. You see also, further away, a hunk of meat. A large hunk of meat. Maybe about twice the size of Aluro in their currently feline form. Both roll for me a perception check, please. Right meow. Eleven. Right meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, critical failure. I got a three, oh. but I rolled a one. <laughs> Alora. Um, Alora, you see <laughs> that um, Tarquin's very nice, shiny stone-like uh, armband. It's reflecting a little bit of light that's coming in from above. Casting a tiny dot onto the wall. <laughs> and as he's looking around, that dot is moving. You must consume it. You must feel it. Flesh between your claws. You must catch it. Brrr. Roll a dexterity 
Uh, roll athletics or acrobat- acrobatics, I think, for Cat. Roll acrobatics for me, please. Okay. Um, Harqueen with an 11. You see... I mean, you can also check to see if you recognize any of the mushrooms. Um, but you see that the hunk of meat um, further away does have some of the notable black and white stripes on the outer layers of fur of the adult Wolganon that you killed as part of the burst trial. Whatever's down here's been eaten some of it. Uh -oh. With a nine, the light escapes you as it just climbs a little higher just as you get your claws close. As Tarquin turns to move and realizes that there is more to the meat than first met the eye. Ooh, poetry. <laughs> <laughs> you may roll another uh, dexterity uh, acrobatics check for me to try and catch the light, if you will. Alright. <laughs> Must catch light. Wait, you're a must. cat right now. Interesting. I am a cat right now. You're just a regular naked cat. Yep. Thirteen. Good to know. Um, unfortunately, the light just, just evades you yet again. <laughs> um, just. <laughs> It stays still for the longest moment, so much so that you kind of almost just lose interest in it. Um, but then it moves a little, and you <laughs> But your claws just <laughs> against a uh, slightly damp rock, and you kind of slide back down to the floor. Uh, for team top floor of the cave, you hear a couple of Tarquin hmm, ha, investigation noises, and also just <laughs> Uh, kind of echoing From hairless gently. cat meat slaps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Alora is distracted once again by the light, so please roll an acrobatic check for me. Third and final one. As, uh, <laughs> as things begin to proceed. Tark, when you begin to hear... Not an incredibly low growl, but a fairly familiar growl, slightly smaller than before, as you see emerging from the shadows, almost like the eyes that flickered in your dreams, a young Wolgan. Maybe if it were to stand on its hind legs about the same height as a human kind of skulk towards you its haunches up as you freeze seeing it approaching Meow Loro you get that freaking light just <laughs> and you lift your paw up It's... it's gone. It... you caught... you caught it! But it's gone. And it's at that moment that you also look over... and up... to see the slathering jaws of a young Wolganon approaching. And that's where we're gonna take our break! The baby! Oh my god! The baby. We it's killed the baby. mother! Yes, you did. Sorry. It's fine. I mean, at least you haven't brought a team member that looks like a literal roast chicken with you. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, I didn't realize until you got down there. I was like, wait. Naked cat? He just looks like fucking chicken. Oh no. <laughs> Who brought KFC? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't order this. <laughs> but yes. 
Macaluros, we will <laughs> we will be back after a another ten minute ten minute break. Let's say yeah. ten, ten, 10 minute break. So get some snacks, get some fresh I was about to say cat chicken, but that's kind of messed up. Um get some get some chicken if you have some. Um get some snacks. Let us know what you get. If you want us to say hi to you after we come back from the break, leave us a little comment and we'll say hi to you. And yeah. any comments or questions or takes, hot takes, hot theories, let us know and we will see you soon. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Bye. Bye. Bye.
<laughs> is it? Am I really live? <laughs> We're back, and thank you for the raid. <laughs> thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> wow. Pulled that on, on us real fast. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? <laughs> <laughs> went from not back to suddenly entirely back all at once. Very back, yeah. It was whirlwind. Um, but yes, hello friends, hello raiders. For those who do not know Little Miss F and Sir Ralphius, they are good longtime friends of uh, Diamond Eye and soon to be, hopefully, maybe, friends of yours. And they're phenomenal streamers, and you should go send them some love. Ah, it is so good to see you, friends! <laughs> Let us know what you were playing. <laughs> Zero is back to break because of surprise. I was scared. I was like, oh, okay, I've got a second. And I was like, we're back! <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> but hello, we have some people we haven't said hello to yet. So let's say hello to everyone. I don't know if some people are here. A lovely mods are here. Woo woo! Twilight! Twilight! Did I see Scorpio? I did see Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio and Twilight! Volcanoes and... Twilight again! Rihanna's <laughs> here! <laughs> it was almost turning into plastic love, and I'm alright with that. Um... Vividly! Shell René! Oh, are we able to do the rhyme again? Uh, 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 uh. It's a Almost a rhyme. Please come and Scott, 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 The curse of single monitoring today. Uh, little Miss Franny, Sir Bobby, signing. Welcome, friends. Welcome, welcome. What snacks did you have? You're trying to kill a dragon with a health pool of 15,860. Well, it's funny you say that, Franny. Um, <laughs> our team. <laughs> <We're about. laughs> no, dragons don't exist in this world, remember? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So... <laughs> they better not. If they do, I'm gonna eat them. Well. <laughs> they, there you go. <laughs> but they're yes. they don't exist. Oh, that sounds like a threat. JC. <laughs> hey, roll a d8 for me real quick. <laughs> <No>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fear. <laughs> you thought I was joking. No, I'm kidding. I am kidding. Um, this is we we had this discussion I think on the very first session, which was that it took me a couple of years of DMing until I actually made like a proper dungeon. So, and there aren't dragons in in this world, so it's mostly just. Mm. I, there's just I, we're just playing a game of mm. um, yeah. So yeah, they thought wrong. there were no dragons in the Witcher verse as well. Yeah, well, you know. No, I'm sorry. I'm being torn between worlds now because Freddy and Val are here. So fair, fair, fair. <laughs> My but fantasy yes. worlds are seeping together. <laughs> They're blending. But last, last we left off, but 15 or so minutes ago, the team <clears throat> were revisiting um, one of the many floating isles of Ash Sky that they currently are checking out. As you can see from the picture to my side, Ayo. Um, <laughs> and they are revisiting an isle where they killed a big, big old beastie wolf like. Uh, with porcupine-ish spines called the Wulganon, and they have indeed gone further into the Wulganon's cave to discover a small Wulganon. Um, unfortunately, it seems a bit afraid, and though Tarquin seems, um, you know, ready for whatever lays ahead, Aloro is sadly uh, currently wild-shaped into the most roast chicken-looking cat. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> so that's what you missed uh, earlier today on Tales of the Torn Veil. So, <laughs> before you, you see this young, snarling Wolganon. Uh, I'm gonna say 
Bifon and Ludo roll a perception check to see if you can hear the beastie below. Absolutely. Assuming Tarquin does, doesn't just go, hey guys, there's a, there's a baby down here. Guys, there's baby workers <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> just hear a thud. <laughs> he knocks it out. <laughs> roll the 12. You, you, you hear... You hear something. There's something moving in the cave. Ooh. Can't put a finger on what. Is that your 21? Ludo? Oh, it is, it is, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you hear... Alundrons. A, a, a growl. A growl. Similar to that of the Wolgrenon that you fought a few days ago. But younger. Smaller. Maybe, baby? Did you fart? <laughs> no. Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everything okay in there? No, really. There's plenty of little burgers here. You gonna kill it or? Should we go down? They there? don't seem very happy right now. I like a beef on. What? I had trouble finding a rock. <laughs> you can find one, I can go down there. Okay, I guess we're gonna go kill a bunch of babies. And he jumps down. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> How much is full damage again? Is it like. <laughs> D6 per 10 feet. D6 per 10 feet. I was. Oh my god, I remember. Oh, jeez. Um. <laughs> Roll, roll, you know what? You, you know what, Ludo? Roll for me. What if a... he rolls down? If he rolls down, would it be easier? Roll for me an acrobatics check. If oh. you beat a 15, you Super ain't going to take damage. easy to do in heavy armor. <laughs> yeah. Easy peasy. You weigh like 450 pounds. That's <laughs> and uh, you've just got that's... a giant fridge of holding on your back. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> that is an eight. Wonderful roll for me, two d six of forest damage as you, as your roly poly goes south in more ways than one. Okay, I do. A... It is still a roly poly. It just hurts. <laughs> I do a skid and a bump, and I <laughs> wobble back up to my feet, uh, and I take six damage. Oh, <laughs> bonk. Before. Are you hopping, hopping down? <laughs> or are you staying up? I think I'm going to do an insight check um, to see if I know what a rock is now. <laughs> you, um, I would say with your, your passive insight, you do, you do know what a rock is. It was, ju it was just um, a momentary lapse in judgment of weight. And that's okay. Brain fart, everyone. gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Cause look, you're a really Hello. strong guy. Your name is literally Beefo. Like, you're you strong, 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 beefy. Like, <laughs> I'm fine. On the head, apparently. Yeah. So, like, for you to pick up a rock in it, not way much. Like, that happens with even actually really heavy rocks. So, like, you don't know because you're just so strong. That's you're just gonna keep problem, rubbing this you. in, aren't you? I'm not rubbing it in. That is the logic of. What happened with the brain Rub part? <laughs> Bifon finds a happy Valentine's Day. Um, <laughs> Bifon finds a stalagmite. Oh. Ties the rope around it and uh, heads on down after. Okay. I mean, we gotta get out, don't we? Gotta see, uh, gotta see what's down there. Okay. You so you're all down here now. So um. I think it's safe to say that um, this this smaller Wolganon is um, it, it it's snarling, but it's not moving any closer. Oh, he's cute.
Hello, little guy. I would I'll like say. to use. Oh Ooh. yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Oh, I was gonna use speech of beast and leaf. Oh, <gasps> even better. Oh, yeah. One way animal speak. Let's go. <laughs> At least to try to calm it or something like that. Yeah. Um, um, what would you say? Not here to. Not here to hurt you, buddy. Just um. Looking to see if there's any treasure or anything around here. Um, hey, Ludo, you got anything we can feed this guy? Oh, definitely. He's already fishing out a little bit of... Maybe uh, fishing out of fish. Uh, an alive yeah, one or a Yeah, whatever you do, make sure it doesn't one. get a scent of its dead mother. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, an, an alive fish. He'll uh, pull it out, <laughs> punch it a couple of times, and toss it over. You have maybe dazed a quick, a the quick fish. Elbow drop. <laughs> yeah, because these fish are quite big. Um, <laughs> it's, it's kind of bigger than the Wolgrenon, baby Wolgrenon's head. Um, but you toss it over. Um, Bifon, it is up to you whether you are lying to this little critter or not, uh, as to whether you would roll an, uh, pers uh, a persuasion check at advantage or a deception check at advantage. So if you told the truth when you're like, we're not going to hurt you, we just want to find treasure, that would be a persuasion check. If you are going to punch it like the fish got punched, that would be a deception check, but both would be <laughs> at advantage because of the fish. <laughs> How does a motherfucker roll like the same thing twice? I rolled a six on persuasion. Would anyone on the team... I'm bad at talking to Wolgernauts. ...like to assist? <laughs> uh, I'll ass yeah, I'll assist. With the, uh, okay. While I'm wobbling the fishy. Yeah, how, roll. how do I assist? Roll persuasion? That's a good question. Yes. 21. That'll, that'll do it. You know, Ludo just kind of slides the fish a bit even closer. <laughs> Just with a foot, just... <laughs> and the baby Wolgernon sniffs it and licks it and is... You see, it, it's kind of taken aback as if it's not tried this flavor of meat before, but it's kind of here for it. Um, I've, I think I told you how many fish you managed to catch, Ludo, so I would like you to mark one of them off, please. <laughs> Why, I never... Um... <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna... three big fish. Three big fish. Um, two of which are alive. The other, sadly, has not survived the roly-poly um, debacle <laughs> of the cave. Oh, nice. um, and also they've kind of been in there a good couple of days now without any other uh, source of food. Um, but you pass it the fish over, kind of has a nibble of it, and it kind of does the little Wolgren on trill, which I shall try to replicate and not terrify the cats. Please. <laughs> kind of. Better than the first time, I think. And uh, you see, you kind of <laughs> just Mario wall jumps uh, onto the top layer of the cave and scurries away. Me. And... There is no other creature in the cave. Is there anything down here? Bones. Hey, GM! Hi! Bones and poop! Ah. <laughs> uh, did poop any of those bones, in bones it. maybe maybe drop some gold or something? Is there a loot skelly down here, by any chance? No, but it did seem that he understood what you were talking about. And he didn't attack you, so... Maybe... Sweet. Follow him. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'll show you the treasure. The way out. <laughs> 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 the door. <laughs> Alright, so now a very important question for you all. Uh, how would you like to get back out? <laughs> Other than the rope that would be bomb prepared. And thus ended the... <laughs> Valiant though their adventure was, 
That's some King's Quest, like, OG stuff right <laughs> yeah. there. Just I said it was good at going down to the bottom of the cave. I didn't say anything about going down. <laughs> Just, oh, you didn't bring the purple lantern and the, and the music notes to the cave with you? Oh, well, I guess you're stuck in here forever then. You have to reload a save from 37 hours ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can all easily enough climb back up the rope uh, that Bifon laid down and uh, you do indeed see the little Wolganon kind of waiting for you at the cave entrance since we're being all particular about everything Bifon <laughs> unties the rope and puts it back into his pack did you wait for everyone to come back up the rope before <laughs> <laughs> just halfway Sorry. through I had to <laughs> Who's Everyone making a new except character? the chicken. The chicken will be fine getting out. <laughs> no, you, you should you, you should leave um, Dario down there. <laughs> leave, leave Dario down there. Ludo's gonna be never to be Ludo's found. gonna pop a <laughs> pop a squat by the little baby Wolgernon uh -oh. and uh, oh. give it a <laughs> extend a hand. Hello, little guy. Roll an animal handling check, please, for me. The DC is lowered because fish. <laughs> okay, he remembers me from fish. <laughs> fish good. 17. That will work. Kind of sniffs at your hand. Doesn't bite it off. So it's a good sign. He's gonna give it a little nuzzle on the head and be like, Are you gonna go free? Or are we gonna eat you? Or are we gonna give you a hat and you're gonna be my new friend? What's it gonna be? Uh, he begins, run like, hop it, hodling away. Hodling. Jesus. Get my cute Britishisms mixed up. Um, poddling away <laughs> half, halfway through your sentence. When does, how does um, one poddle? What is a poddle? So it's it's like a, a jovial, um, not quite waddle, not quite walk. Okay. Um, a little bit of in between, just like a yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like a happy dog. He, uh, like the okay, hap, yeah. hap, happy dog. Like oh, a little I do poddle. Like a happy, okay, like a little happy yeah. poddle. Or is it more of a, a more a more neutral puddle. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, or was a poodle? <laughs> no, that's something else. <laughs> Did it glorp the entirety of the fish? <laughs> uh, no, it it tasted a little bit and seemed to save it for later because oh, okay. it wanted to lead you somewhere, suppo supposedly. Okay. Um, let's, uh, as let's go with him. It, it puddles away a few meters, kind of past its dead mum and uh <laughs> takes you it's true uh takes you towards a large tree towards the edge of the island and kind of ludo observes stands. with pride the chunk missing out of the side of the dead mom oh there's a lot missing like you oh, see okay. the um you kind of put together in your mind that some of the bones from down from downstairs if you will um were some of the femurs uh, of the mum's leg bones. Um, the ribs have been pretty much picked clean, if not just rotted off of the bone. Um, there's only kind of like half of the flesh where it's been lying on the ground intact still. And it's got rotten flesh kind of on top of it. The rest seems to have been picked clean. Oh, alas. But yes, it stops by a tree on the outskirts of the island, not far away from where you are. And kind of sits down, pointedly. What's that? I like, is it like they're like a little mound or something? Or something up in the tree, maybe? Roll an investigation check. Ooh, I'm so good at Or a survival this. check. Actually. Much better at that. Survival check. Yeah, you would all see this as well. Oh, unless but Python I got an eleven. I'm cake. off on the side, uh, using my python to make a little hole and put the bones in it. Oh, you collecting them bones? I'm just burying what's left of the mom. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Don't don't worry about the way I said that or that I said that at all. Just. Interesting. Just making a mental note. Um, uh -huh. 
Uh, 11. Uh, you do see that, um, a part of the ground next to, uh, Baby, Baby Wolg has been disturbed. That is about all you can notice. Could have been a squirrel, though. Al? Uh, Tark? The cat seems to be telling me something, but I can't really tell what. Can you all look around here? Of course. I roll an insight check. Has Elora come back to human form? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ludo, you hear <laughs> from Elora. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wait, really quickly. Hold on. We need to establish whether I can talk <laughs> in Wild Shape or not. Because I think we've gone a couple different ways before. And I want to be consistent. Yeah, that's, that's fair. I think if you are in animal form, you can communicate as far as your meows and, well, any animalistic features can get you. So, like, if you're a meerkat, and you can do some, like, little meerkatty hand gestures, um, <laughs> I'll allow it. Uh, I will allow you to be able to understand what other people are saying to you in your wild shape form. Um, yeah. But Okay. Yeah, that would be as far as it would go. Then I'm gonna get out of my wild shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. That's all right. I will fact check that for you for next time, though, for sure. But that's how I would do it, generally. Cool. Cool, cool. Unless you, like, met a, a weird species of creature that could just naturally automatically talk then you could wild shape into that. That would be a, I guess, a loophole, but... Hmm. I'll have a think. <laughs> yes, survival roll for anyone who's looking for... Treasure! Sure. Oh yeah. I got a nine. Fifteen survival. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, with fifteen, you definitely see uh, the disturbed patch that Ludo and Tarquin also both notice. Um, seems seems to have been recently dug back in. As someone who was recently burying bones. That looks familiar from about <laughs> 30 seconds ago. No, it's a different area. It's a different <laughs> spot. <though. laughs> it's a different area. When you see the little. I know little... a burial mound when I see one. Uh, it's not a burial mound. But it is a man. I'm, I'm just making jokes. I'm just... Okay. I'm just, che I'm just <laughs> checking. I'm just checking. I'm bad at social cues. I'm sorry. You're only checking me. You're only checking me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I let us on another wild goose chase. I can't do anything right. I don't know what a rock is. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to breakfast. <laughs> this is good. This is a good start to the day. <laughs> Do you guys want to dig a hole with me? <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm really not good time. at people's feelings, but uh, it's going to be fine, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm looking forward to when B if Beef on ever just multi-classes as a barbarian and that's just the voice that comes out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, GM, I would like to rage. I just want to go back to breakfast! <laughs> 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 breakfast was good! <laughs> it was so good. Amazing. I, I am the squishiest, most honorable samurai. Yay! Um... <laughs> we love it. Hammerai. We love hammerai. Hammerai people. <laughs> 
I'm gonna start digging. Anything right. I need to roll? Um, you got big hands. I'd say you managed to dig easily enough. Um, the ground's still fairly soft. Hey. Uh, if anyone would like to help, you may, and it would speed up the process. Um, I'll help. Little... Yay! I'll be um, uh, petting, petting the wolverine on. Okay. You did it, it, very good. It, it it doesn't immediately respond, but it doesn't respond negatively. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> You're just preparing like a grill. <laughs> just a monster hunter spit to put it on. It hasn't got any clothes yet. Um, so you all dig, diggy, dig, dig, and you find as you're digging you're getting further and further in before you hear a boom and feel something hard happy valentine's day <laughs> mm -hmm. you bring it up bring it in heck yeah time to pull it out see what it is happy valentine's day <laughs> um, you see a treasure chest. Ooh, oh. Oh. Would you like to open it? And we? Do we need a key or anything? Well, you do see an impossible to decode cipher that holds the lid. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's open. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I needed Tyrion's birth date, uh, Ict's home address, <laughs> <laughs> and your current location geographically uh, in terms of the universe. And that is the code that will pet. open. Yeah, the name of your child that you haven't had yet. Um... <laughs> 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 so... Yvonne pulls out his, pulls out his caber and just golf swings that shit. <laughs> No, it does. It does open immediately. Um, you see within the treasure <gasps> chest a <gasps> hundred gold. <laughs> you also see <gasps> full potion of healing, just the base level ones. <laughs> hey. You also see a potion that is labeled water breathing. You see now that this potentially hmm. might have been more useful to get in the first trial. So. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that it's still here, it's still useful. Um, you also see lining the bottom of the chest <laughs> a cloak oh now it's not just it, this, she's not like the other cloaks do any of you have identify or any other sort of um hmm. detection magics or items and if not that's fine and um, a kind of roll will do the trick. What would that be? Um, so there are some spells like identify or detect magic um, that can uh, identify things and detect yeah, magic. Yeah, I have detect magic. Ooh, you do. Beefong! Yes. Fearbog! Fucking Fearbogs. All right, would you like to cast it? <laughs> yes. Oh, this on this cloak, okay. You cast. How does your how does your spell manifest? What does it look like? Hmm. It is just um, a big old purple poof, but it's not like a poof of smoke. It's like <laughs> stars and shit. It's oh. it's like the <laughs> it's it's like the grandmother from Cinderella. It's just. <gasps> yes. It's way too cute. That's why I don't use it too often. <laughs> it is fucking adorable. The rest of you see it. Um, you detect, with your detect magic, that this is a cloak of billowing. Oh, now, a cloak... 
<laughs> a cloak of billowing, for those who do not know, is a phenomenal arcanic item in D&D. You see, what the cloak of billowing does is that you can use your bonus action and it billows. That is all. It gives wow. you no bonuses. <laughs> it, give, it gives no other benefits mm. other than magical billowing. I wonder who might on this team want to be using that. But, you know, with an item like that... I can think of somebody. You can, can do some shenanigans with an item like that. And as you lift the cloak out of the chest, you see one final item. In the very bottom, you see a small amulet. I'll say, everybody, everybody go ahead and either use a, another detect magic if you have one, or roll an arcana check. I don't got neither of those. Is so my detect, detect on recharge or something? Um, what I'm rolling? Oh, four. <laughs> <laughs> Does it say um, how many charges you get of it per day? Is it like one per long rest? Or... Mm -hmm. oh, kind of duration. Uh, yeah, it is once. Okay, no worries. Um, but you can feel free to roll Arcana. Um, Allura oh, knows me. what it is. Allura knows what it is. The rest of you are like, ooh! This is kind of cool. It kind of looks like um, <laughs> it's got like slightly clockwork mechanics in the back of it. It's pretty dope. Oh. Alora, you know this to be surprisingly named a clockwork amulet. This copper amulet contains tiny interlocking gears. Creature that puts an ear to the amulet can hear faint ticking and whirring noises coming from within. When you make an attack roll while wearing the amulet, you can forego rolling the d20 to get a 10 on the die. Once used, this property can't be used again until the next dawn. So wow. if you're so if your attack um, is like, I don't know, if there's like a monk on the team, for example. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but no, if you've got someone who's got a really high attack rate and you need a guaranteed hit, you can't crit, but you can get a guaranteed hit potentially on a very difficult baddie. So, and it's pretty, it's, and it's cool, and it, yeah. <laughs> Me. Um, Aluro, you can either keep that secret or tell the rest of the party. No, I'm gonna tell everybody. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this this amulet uh, allows you to forgo. <laughs> what? You can't tell it that way. How do I tell it? Oh my! <laughs> it's got magical properties. It'll make us attack good, good. <laughs> good luck charm yeah i put it in the discord for you <laughs> <laughs> no i i just got stuck on not wanting to say in the real world how <laughs> eyes work uh, i see <laughs> uh, it it increases your chances of a hit potentially if you're good at hitting, it increases your chance of succeeding on a hit. Would maybe be how I'd say it. Makes your eyes better for 10 seconds a day. <laughs> Carrot <laughs> vision. <laughs> <laughs> and Do that is either truly... these items take uh, attunement slots? The copper amulet... The clockwork amulet does not. The cloak of billowing also does not. Okay, uh I think it would be mean if either did, honestly. 
<laughs> I can only wear one enchanted item. I'm gonna go with the cloak of billowing <laughs> instead of this plus three <laughs> dagger. This <laughs> lame, <Same>, bro. <laughs> so yes. Um, and the little Wolgernon does wag a little tail uh, before beginning to slowly head back to the cave. Enough time to maybe intercept should you want to say any parting words or farewells or recruitment. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you befriend him just to just to break his heart. Well, I asked him if he wanted. I'd leave to him come. more. I'd leave him more food if we had it. You know, what am I gonna say? Sorry about your mom. I mean, I can I can give him uh, the dead fish. That's not getting any better. <laughs> Damn. That's, up, that's up to you. I don't have anything in my pack. I'm, okay, is, is it? Is <laughs> Might it have some rations. Laura would get that gets Laura's attention faster than the <laughs> on. What you saying? What? <laughs> huh? But the Wolgernon does turn. I will uh, fish out the dead fish, and. Uh, hey. Lay it on the ground before me and uh, kneel and bow to it. In a way bow of to the saying fish? thank you. No, so. to, to the vulgar well, <laughs> I My brain is somewhere the frick else today. Um, <laughs> I mean, we bow, bow to dead to fish! fish. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's fair enough. Um, it kind of hops over and takes the fish and skedaddles back to the cave. Bye forever. Waving a paw. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> just waves a paw. Just... <laughs> um, all right. That's that's that. I'll uh, pull. Wow. I'll uh, you know, like pull, I'll call friends over to my shoulder. And I'll whisper. Did you want a baby sister? <laughs> Kind of turns his head to you. You see his eyes going in opposite directions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> the cat, the cat. Hi, cats. Um, they've been so well behaved this whole time. You can just wait another like half hour or so. Could okay. Um, but uh, yeah, looks at looks at you with their eyes going in opposite directions. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> A cat somewhere far away responds to the seagull noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, if you're gonna have a war, take it elsewhere, okay, kids? Not, not doing this. But then you won't be watching. <laughs> you have to watch us. <laughs> <laughs> Watch us fight to the death! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Don't bring my feet into it. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> Is that the sound of claws on fabric? Uh, yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are big cats. Uh, for anyone who knows Norwegian forest cats, that's what we're dealing with. Two of them. That's why it sounds like there's six buffalo in here. Uh, <laughs> can hear them upstairs. Um, yes. Yeah, so, anything else you'd like to do on this island, or where would you like to head next? I'm yeah. good. I guess we're adding twenty-five a piece and a healing potion. Because that was gold, right? Yeah. Not yeah. bad. Twenty-five a piece and one uh, potion of healing. Each. And breathing, right. water breathing. Oh, right. Only uh, one, only one, one person hold on a bit. Mm -hmm. I forgot who got it before. Because, like, uh, some of us have advantages, we wouldn't need it. Yeah, I'm going to assume Aluro doesn't need it. What? You probably don't need a potion <laughs> of water breathing because you are. No, no. Yeah. Tarquin's yeah, arm still point. just yeah. reflecting a light onto a tree. <laughs> yeah, I think sorry. it was the two of you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just think Tarquin okay. has a bit of 
has the constitution to withstand it as well. And I think the only reason I didn't take it with me was because I had the stuff on me that I got from, uh, what's her name? Yenka. So I guess it could be myself or Ludo that would need it. Go, go and hold on to it. Okay. Yeah, you have some kind okay. of water breathing spell if need be. Just put the fridge on your head. <laughs> tape it the down. The fridge is currently filled with seawater. <laughs> I'm not after tonight. It might I'm not be later. I can fill it with oxygen, and then I can use it as like a spaceman helmet. <laughs> oh, God. It's just going to have the leftover stank of seawater in there. <laughs> I mean, we all know what the real question is. See, now, I have a use for it. Mm. Not necessarily a cloak person, but who were you thinking is the person who should get it? Jason. Oh, me. I mean, the cloak person's always grandstanding and making big speeches of how great they are and their legend. I mean, it would look very cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's decided. You can also, fun fact, you can also use uh, your potion of water breathing to instead cast Gust of Wind once. So if you're just wearing a regular cloak... Um, you can do it that way <laughs> and have two cloaks billowing at once. Maybe more if you had people stand in the right place for the wind. Just become a big paddle. <laughs> 40 episodes later, they're trying to make a parachute out of the cloak of billowing. We one make day, this happen. One day I will make a grand entrance with the cloak of billowing and it's going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, I don't. I don't. I mean, I'm by no means the uh, voice of authority here. But I would. I my. I would think the <laughs> clockwork amulet would go to be fun, right? Because you can do the big hits, and we want mm. you to be doing the big hits. Honestly, I bet you if we were to lift that treasure chest up, it would say Tarquin on it, because he can hit multiple times. Bring it all. I can do everything. Come on. <laughs> what else do you want me to carry? I can carry a dead war on if you want. But is it where to uh, it makes a single he's, roll? He can hit can? multiple times, I hit hard. So no. yeah, yeah, how does it work? Makes In one single, single hit, I th I think Bifon would hit. do more damage. Yeah. Okay. So because the case what is if you kind of have an uh, like the suggest the suggested use, uh whether you can bastardize it or not is another matter, but um, <laughs> the suggested use is if you know um, an enemy's AC, so if you know like an enemy's got like 17 AC, mm. and you get naturally a plus 7 to hit, um, and they're kind of wiping the floor with you, if you use the Clockwork Amulet for the once per day, you can make sure to get a really strong hit in to attack. Like, you can get everyone to buff you up and then get a guaranteed hit that once and oh, strategize. So it, wouldn't, it. it wouldn't apply to all three of your hits, right? right. No, it's one, nah. one attack. All right. It's four yeah, now because right. I'm okay. level five. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Sweet. It also looks pretty bling. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Bifon got some got some jewelry on now. <laughs> I mean, I lost the cloak, so yeah, this is good. <laughs> Y'all can find some nice cloaks. I'm sure they'll give you some at the guild hall. Oh, I already. I, there's a reason why I thought I could use the cloak, but I'm just going to use that to trigger his billowing when I get the opportunity. <laughs> and it's going to be That'd awesome. Be extra billow. <laughs> Extra it's just gonna be some Superman levels of cloak action while he's just standing there. <laughs> Save it for like the end of his sentence, like whatever you're gonna, whatever word you end with, <laughs> hit it with a power gust. Mm -hmm. He's gonna cast a small spell while he's trying to chat up somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys come here often? <laughs> it also comes with purple sparkles too, so it's great. It's perfect. <laughs> That's oh, what the spell prestidigitation is for, man. It's just for all those <laughs> little silly things. We love all them little silly things. Okay, I think uh, if we don't have anything else to do, we should get back. I gotta take my time cooking this meal. A feast yeah. of three hunts. Alright. 
Sounds we'll good. Clamber back onto the worm. Who's taking the reins this time? Hmm. I can't believe no one wants you to drive You know what? Uh, I will. I will drive. I will drive because I know sometimes it could be a, 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 a nag. You guys <laughs> followed me on my wild adventure today, so <laughs> I will see everybody home. Hopefully, I'm going to do this animal handling check and make sure we don't die. <laughs> yeah. I assure you that you, uh, Ludo, pats you on the back and says, "You've got this," and you get a bonus Aww. d4. Oh, yay. That's just as well, because if uh, no one was going to take the reins, friends absolutely would have. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, well, I got a 22, so I'm going to do a loop-de-loop -loop on the way back. Yeah, all right. Just yes. a slow, a slow, gentle loop-de-loop. Going to loop -loop. go full, full Falcor. Yes. Wee! <laughs> do you do it over just the open ocean, or do you do it while you're over an island? Or is that a really stupid question? Oh no, we're gonna ride ocean. low on the ocean, but if I see like any sort of like oh my God. cliff sides or rocks or like one of those, you know, those like um, those bits where the erosion happens in the center and we're gonna go through, up and around and back through again and keep going. Hell yeah. You're gonna like surf up the waterfall and stuff or follow it down? Hell yeah. Yeah, we... Hell yeah, we're gonna do I can show this. you the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you park back at the <laughs> Pinnacle Isles. <laughs> that was dumb. Um, I don't leave him. Um, park back at the Pinnacle Isles and um, hop off and uh, see that yours kind of waiting there. You're pretty good at driving that thing. But make sure the worm has fun too. Does enjoy a loop de loop now and then. <laughs> you guys get up to some adventures then? Oh, did we? Well, yeah, I would imagine so because Luke is alive and Luke was not alive last night, so. Um, I assume that's what you're doing. Yep. Sweet. So, uh, so, uh mm. yeah, no, um, where's your kitchen? <laughs> My kitchen. Yeah, and this place oh, here. I, I don't live here. <laughs> I'm as new to these aisles as <laughs> Who you does? are. Uh, probably the royals that are I'm... inside. I think Ludo probably yeah. made note of it last night. Probably even <laughs> made, a, made a note to see if it was capable of everything he had planned. And is already trundling off there in that direction. I thought you went to the greenhouse for that. <laughs> a, <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you you would have seen it on your way. He will make he will make a note to, to use some herbs he, he observed last night in the greenhouse. Hell yeah. Um, not the poison flowers, though. No, no. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, there are some, there are I, some fun I, ones. <laughs> I assume that was the case, but you know, I'm just, I'm making conversation. I'm going full himbo today. Hell yeah! <laughs> we here, we here for it. It's very likewise. So, um, you all head in with your, and uh, kind of looks around. I think I'm a bit early. Do you know when uh, food's gonna be? Ah, uh, no. I don't think we do. Oh. Well, I'll take that as a sign to explore. I'll catch you later. And she just skitters off <laughs> exploring. Um... You see uh, Lady Marina come uh, through the kitchen, through the kitchen, through the dining room and uh, greet you in the entry hallway. Ah, my guests, how are you doing? I hope your rests were satisfactory. Yes, they were. Thank you very much. 
That is good to hear. Um, my friend Ludo, correct? Mm-hmm. You, you offered to uh, prepare tonight's meal for us. Is that offer still on the table? The Feast of the Three Hunts. Indeed. Is it still on the table? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go okay. cook it right now. Uh, wonderful. Do you need uh, any assistance? Do you have any cooks or chefs available? I could use some extra hands. Um, well, uh, I believe Umberly said she had to go and uh, speak to a friend quickly. But um, I believe there is another pilgrim around. She might not be great for cooking, but she might uh, she might have some use in the kitchen. What if we helped? Okay. I don't know much about yeah. cooking, but uh, I don't know either. But we can all try to do something. Sure, you guys will do great. Okay, um, I can. We're not gonna fuck you though. No. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. It usually nice. makes the the flavor better, but okay. I bit your Please ways. do not copulate with the food. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I have heard that Osprey has some strange traditions. Uh, at least some of the ones Riordan was telling me about, but uh, just a meal will suffice for us tonight. Hope you're sure. Is Riordan we'll going resist. to join us? I will have to ask. Is he eating the food? Has, has he eaten the food? Ruto. Mm hmm. Put a lot of salt in his plate. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Um, you do. I think there has been some mistake. He is not a demon lord. Tieflings are of demonic descent, but that does not a demon make. And even then, wasn't it you all that acquired the help of a demon? Not but last night? We're kind of a uh, do as we say, not as we do sort of group. I see. Yes, I see that. That uh, makes, makes total sense now that you put it like that. Don't have time to talk. I've plenty to cook. Sorry. Oh, and uh, Luto? Mm hmm. She kind of gets closer up to your ear. If you go to the back next time, there is a uh, chaise long that may suit your needs better. Oh, she thought nobody caught us, but I knew somebody did. I didn't catch you. It just helps to know what is going on in your own home. We barely broke anything. We broke each other. I do not judge. <laughs> You've seen my man. <laughs> anyway, over sharing the side, uh, <laughs> you see she's instant regret that she said that so freely. <laughs> uh, I'm just I, smiling. Uh, I will do not tell anyone I said that, please. Um, <laughs> I will go and get ready for later. Good luck with the cooking. I'll send my uh, assistant down to see if you need any help. Okay, bye. <laughs> and happy Valentine's Day. Uh, what? <laughs> just Nothing. Just <laughs> Take care. <laughs> so, oh no. They, they would be around. <laughs> um, you all head to the kitchen, which is huge, just beautifully laid out. Um, there's a lot of uh, homegrown herbs and spices. Um, it, it's kind of the kind of 
uh, elegance and cleanliness you'd expect of a palace kitchen, but with all the herbs and plants that are around and that are growing, it feels more like, almost like another part of the garden, um, with how much nature is there. It is wonderful, it is quite lovely, all the fresh smells of basil and, and um, differently named in different countries. <laughs> Uh, herbs, <laughs> arugula, and rocket. <laughs> um, um, uh, cilantro, Ooh, so which I think bad. is basil. I think mm. that's basil. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, I got really good at my herb translations at one point. <laughs> Why can't we just call it the same fucking thing? Anyway, um. And yes, so what kind of, let's say for the uh, Feast of Heroes, there is a entree, there is a main, and there is a dessert. Who would you like to work on what, Ludo? Uh, Ludo's gonna make on, work on the main entree. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assign Tarquin to the appetizer. Yes. Because oh, he's you. big and flashy time. and impressive. That's what you got to start off with. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. Al is sweet and Bifon is felt and smooth. So I think between the two oh. of them, they can make a very nice dessert. Yes. Thank Are you giving you. them full let's freedom go. as to what the, uh, what the recipe will be? <laughs> Well, the ingredients that I have are all proteins, so I imagine <laughs> they are uh, up to their own devices. I mean, unless, uh, actually, no, I want the main entree to have all three proteins in it from the hunt. So, mm. uh, yes, you are free to your own devices, and Ludo will assist and advise as, uh, as he can. Okay. Everybody roll. <laughs> Everybody roll a eh. roll, roll for eh. Roll. Everybody <laughs> roll uh, uh, Everybody roll a performance check. Okay. At advantage. Cause you're working together. Nineteen. Oh my nice. god, I rolled a one and a three. No. Amazing. I want to know what the Wogonon tastes like. <laughs> oh, no. Do I, do I not roll something else for cooking? Like cooking tools as a proficiency or something? Yes. You you have cooking specialisms. Uh, I'm trying to think what would you, you what would you roll for um, your cooking tools? Cooking utensils. Well, I mean I have cooks utensils. And then like yeah, I, that's that, what... you roll that like a like you would like thieves tools or something. Oh yeah, go yeah, do that, do that. All right. Don't don't listen to me. What the I'm a fucking DM? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. I thought I wasn't gonna get to use this character. <laughs> Alright, how are we go. going for the... Oh my god. Wow. I literally rolled two ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Kitchen on fire. <laughs> Kitchen on fire. Oh my no. gosh. <laughs> Just Ludo running around like a sim. This is my one specialty. Is the one thing I do. <laughs> I rolled two ones. Work with it. Work with it. Work with it. <laughs> Oh boy, how does this manifest? Um Okay, hold on. How so would, if I give how myself would you guidance, see this going, Ludo? If I give myself guidance, it's still a ten. <laughs> but you rolled a natural one, yes, my did, guy. Yes, like did. that yes, only did. reduces the damage but so much. <laughs> uh what would what would you picture happening to Ludo in this moment of multiple nat ones? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, how could it possibly go? Oh, oh, oh the I think I might... fridge. Uh -huh. 
malfunctioned days ago. And everything oh, in there is spoiled. Mm, oh no. So he's having to make like... <laughs> like fake representations of everything. He has to like yeah. fake it. Oh no. Like fake fish. Like maybe like he has like ground chicken as fish or something. And it's just like all these like horrible replacements mm. that are not at all the original thing I, that he's passing off as the original thing. I shaping will, tofu into I, the yeah. shape. <laughs> to something that looks like a fish. I will, shaping tofu I, into like a Wolgernon face. <laughs> I will offer an alternative. Two to, ones. Two because ones. that's so unfortunate. I feel it's this only This is great. It's going to build character. <laughs> yeah, I do have another we proposition you for you. That is yeah. up to you to decide. I will send it as a DM um, okay. to to increase the tension. Um, it's gonna be like a few words. It's four words. <laughs> My pitch. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go with that. <laughs> okay. Can we? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so we're right. The meat's fine. The meat's fine. Okay, good. The the Wolganon meat's a bit pickled from the seed juice, but that's fine. It's still edible. It's just automatically salted, so it's it's great. It's real tender. Um, as okay, I, I've got, I've got an idea of how this could work out. Okay, okay, go uh, for it, okay. Go for so it. everything's all laid out. He's got all of the uh, everything all. <laughs> He's got the mise en place, all <laughs> mise en place. Everything's all cut and chopped and measured and proportioned. He's like, oh, right, I wanted to go to the greenhouse. He goes out to the greenhouse to uh, get a, get an herb. And um, in their haste last night in trying to uh, rearrange, <laughs> the, fix things up to make it not look like they just ran through there like a hurricane, he when you mislabeled said <laughs> he mislabeled the cilantro as the poison flower. And he just, just. tasted some to be sure, and maybe it addled <gasps> his brain. And he's brain dumb right now, and that's why the four words you said had to happen. Okay, I've got you. Um, give me a second to refer back to my very ex worryingly extensive descriptions of the poisons <laughs> uh, that we're dealing with. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to you which one fits. I best do for like the, though opportunity. The, despite everything, despite the fact that no one got poisoned last week, I did pitch you as most likely to get poisoned. <laughs> and you That's are true. fulfilling that prophecy I'll a week in a week advance. Late. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which one was it? It's the really fucked up one, isn't it? Um, oh god, did I send you. Was it this one? Uh, pinkish, yeah. Uh, it's okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, okay. Make for me, please, a constitution saving throw, please. Mm. You need a 15. Oh, boy. JC, you, you need a 15. <laughs> 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 I can't stress enough. Alright, so what are we thinking? If... Do we think a barbarian if I die, or <laughs> we just portal in Jedediah, maybe? Well, we did mention a god of bread, a fake deity of bread, oh. the other week, so maybe... Oh, that was an 18, to... and then it rolled to a 5. Oh, oh no. This, and we help this with a, the this with assistance. Rude. He's in a different room. It's a rugal, it oh tastes a bit funny. From outside the window? This is the rule of taste a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you, do, you want, do you want to roll for damage or do you want me to roll for damage? This is the rule of taste a little fun. I'm gonna pee. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> I rolled well. Um, you take. 10 points of psychic damage. Okay. And you are... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. 
halfway is not bad. Um, for the next two hours, you will be suffering um, a lot of hallucinations. Delightful. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of hallucinations. Um, audience, take a peek with me, if you will, through the curtains of the Theatre of the Mind, for Ludo is unfortunately in his own hallucinogenic world right now, and unfortunately also in a tropical garden, which is possibly... I would imagine one of the worst places to be having <laughs> a hallucinogenic trip. Oh, um, but thankfully, we know that Ludo has a friend. Or, shall we say, friends. Hey. Um, friends, thankfully, uh, comes in to see if one of his dads is okay. Obviously, not in any shape to do this important feast. But it's odd, though, because this one time, <laughs> friends heard a bard sing a tale, an unlikely tale, of a chef not dissimilar to Ludo, in a realm far away who gained immense proficiency and mastership of cookery via controlling the very natures of animals and fauna itself. And so, recreating this tale which lulled friends to sleep many times, he tucks himself under Ludo's hat. <coughs> takes his little webbed feet and begins tap dancing on Ludo's head. Now, if I were to say that there is a world where this would puppeteer Ludo into a state of hallucination where he would be fit to somehow cook a meal, you would not, you would not believe me. Alas, here we are. Ludo, seemingly giddy, in his own world, experiencing all these hallucinogenic visions, man. Just giggling to himself. Occasionally just, <laughs> Hidden meekly under his hat a whole ass seagull um pat pat patatooing um on his head <laughs> welcome raiders to the best time to come into the stream I hope you're doing well <laughs> beef on down beef on down <laughs> So, um, on that note, friends, we'll be rolling your performance check. <laughs> friends! <laughs> I, I just, I saw where it was going and, and I knew, and it was so hard to laugh. Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm, I'm so... You all see as Ludo comes back in, seemingly in this moment of inspiration. You may all roll an insight check, should you so wish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you betcha. Oh, you betcha. His hat is a little bit, a little bit higher up on his head than it was before. <laughs> That's a, That's a 15 it. plus 5, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Please Come on, Aurora. Aurora. Come on. Really well. <laughs> oh, I got a three. Ah. Oh. Um, yeah. Aloro Ludo is having a moment of pure inspiration right now. He's he's gone genius mode. Like enlightenment chef. Um Eyes Targon and Beefon. Side of his mouth. <laughs> 
Yeah, Tarquin and Beefon, you both hear the little muff. <laughs> you both hear the little muffled. Under the hat. <laughs> from under the hat with the little. Uh, on top of Ludo's head. <laughs> As he is very wobbly, uh, puppeted to the table, kind of bumps into it with his arms both by his side. And as, uh, <laughs> as Friends moves his little feet, <laughs> grabbing his hair and pulling, you see Ludo's arms just point in different directions. Uh, I, I, <laughs> somehow, he points you exactly, not only exactly to your stations, but <laughs> with wild gestures, um, replicates perfectly whatever method is needed to prepare the food. <laughs> so if you need to stir it a certain way, just friends is just there pulling just the right bits of hair for Ludo's arm to just switch in the right way for you to understand what it is to be a chef. Mm, um, it's very it's scary. fucking raw. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Oi. somehow, at the, at the end of all this, what is produced is maybe the best looking three course meal <laughs> you, all have ever seen, <laughs> you all have ever seen in your lives. It truly brings a tear to your eye, knowing... <laughs> Knowing <laughs> that, <laughs> knowing that you were capable of this with the power of love and teamwork and a very deadly poison. <laughs> What's more? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> What's more is as as you put the plates together, getting ready to be served. Ludo still just tongue out the side of the mouth. Just. <laughs> Eyes dead. <laughs> Dog with head out the window, but head empty. <laughs> um, you do see that all of these meals have somehow ended up in one way, shape, or form. Resembling a seagull. <laughs> <laughs> the Walker non appetizer. Um, well, the appetizer with all of the different uh, meats incorporated looks like. <laughs> is, is a tableau, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Of friends discovering the sausage altar that was built for him by his <laughs> gods, his fathers, <laughs> with his mouth agape as he stares upon this sausage archway of heaven. The, <laughs> the, the main course of the Wilgernon and the fish, the basilisk has the appearance of Ludo flying through the sky <laughs> and grabbing a very comedically squashed <laughs> uh, friend from the sky, just like eyes bulging out. It's like two eggs on the on the on the plate. Um <laughs> oh. and the and the des and the dessert is just a perfectly just silhouette, slightly avant-garde um, portrayal in white chocolate of a seagull, surrounded by his dad's Luto, Aloro, Tarquin, and Bihon. It's beautiful. <sighs> Tarquin and Bihon, you wonder how the fuck this happened. <laughs> 
<laughs> Considering the fact Ludo should probably be dead right now. Um, but as, <laughs> as afternoon turns to evening, the food being pretty much ready, um, you all put on your fanciest or comfiest garments to celebrate your achievements. Not particularly including, but should include at this point, your feast. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the dinner bell <laughs> right they're big fucking cats <laughs> okay Ooh. Ooh. that wasn't the dinner bell <laughs> I'll explain that story once you finish but you will put on your fineries you hear the dinner bell hissing and <laughs> You head down um, and see this beautifully laid out meal um, worthy of your um, mm. worthy of your glory. <laughs> the dinner bell keeps ringing. Someone needs to fix that. Um, <laughs> and Ludo still somehow being piloted by friends at this point. Mm. Worth noting. <laughs> And by the time you all sit down and the first plate of food is put in front of you to a series of Oh, wow, this looks amazing! Um... <laughs> Ludo? Um... I'm gonna need you <laughs> to roll. See if I actually die, like <laughs> since I higher, failed the first roll of the poison. Higher low. Higher low. Uh, let's go high. I mean, low for Ludo. No, let's go high. The good news is you're not dead. Okay. The bad news is you do fall unconscious um, into the appetizer, <laughs> <laughs> into a deep sleep, and begin to snore. And that is where we will end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can top that. I don't, no. <laughs> I don't think we can top that. Not this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my pitch to Ludo was just Ratatouille, but with friends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the sec It did not take me long to realize that you were going there. And it was like pain. Pain. Not laughing was I'm pain. Right <laughs> you know, I, I'm thinking it's, it's a little. Composure. It's kind of beautiful in a way. It's like you ever see the documentary Jiro Dreams of Sushi. It's no. like mm. uh, the the father is so hard on the son, taking who's going to be taking over the restaurant, and then when when the time comes for the Michelin star judges to actually come and uh, judge the restaurant, the father took the day off and the sun took over mm. and that's how they earned their star so it's kind of like that just unintentional with drugs <laughs> like po actual not even drugs actual brain poison poison <laughs> yeah poison um yeah cuz it would it would have either been like i don't think you would have died you could have taken more damage but i was just more concerned with well, if that's when we start cooking dinner, and that's how long kind of the ceremony of cooking takes, is he gonna fall asleep at the dinner table? I was like, absolutely. Yeah, he would. <laughs> Such Perfect. a shame. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Yeah. No, I apologize for the hissing at the end. Um, no, it's okay. I'm looking. I'm you couldn't looking hear the, after... the hissing, just like the stomping. Well, that, the stomping that's and the, the running. Because they are Norwegian forest cats, so I, I loosely measured one of them because I think they're about fully grown now. And it's their birthday tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow their birthday. Um, I me loosely measured one of them from the tip of my finger to my armpit. Like, the crevice of my armpit is the length of one of their bodies, not including the tail. Damn. They are big. That's so, crazy. 
yeah, when they run upstairs, let alone downstairs, it sounds like a freaking thunderstorm. <laughs> but All the... of it added from yeah. the doorbell to the <laughs> stomping everything. <laughs> We're actually cursed because you spoke a ritual that I made up and the door rang like no. <laughs> Because the like you talk, um, Darren jokingly said like oh have we summoned another thing it's like well yeah that's what the ceremony <laughs> does it it summons them to where you are to revive the person <laughs> so, <laughs> like, well uh, at least we're on the good side um, but no the the littler sibling um, gets away with a lot because she was really ill when she was a kitten. Um, and they're COVID kittens, so they're super just clingy and spoiled, bless them. <laughs> so she instigates a lot, um, but her brother is uh, hits harder and goes faster. <laughs> 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 and he's still gentle with her. He's still very gentle with her, but she doesn't like the consequences of her actions. So she'll <laughs> instigate and do like a shoulder drop on him from the kitchen table. And then... <laughs> He'll be like, don't do that, and go to slap her, and she'll just go, not even a good hiss, just a, <laughs> and then, like, be like, ow, he's hitting me. It's like, well, yeah, you elbow dropped him. That that's, <laughs> seems fair to me. <laughs> so she smacked him in the face and then got angry and confused as to why he was chasing her, um, which was the pathetic hissing and thunderstorm noises at the end. <laughs> the funniest it's not it's such a weak weak hiss blesser <laughs> but yeah that that was a fun ass session yeah i thought we'd get a little bit further but you know what i'm glad that's we perfect yeah. that is absolutely perfect <laughs> twitter friends you have your work cut pat, out for pat, you this pat, week yeah. pat, 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 <laughs> <laughs> You gotta say, like, oh, in all I... my years of playing D&D, I think this might very well be the silliest thing that's ever happened. So, A+. Plus. Yay! <laughs> wow. Now we've just got to get the reverse of that, and then, yeah. <laughs> it's like, when, when you're like, Maggie, what the fuck? <laughs> like, that, that's, but that's a victory. That's... I honestly thought we were going to go full overcooked mode, like, <laughs> all running through the kitchen. <laughs> Cooking mini game. It, you know, <laughs> yeah. it would have done. It, it absolutely would have done. But friends legitimately rolled an eighteen. Dang. On, <laughs> on performance, so like it was super effective, and it kind of worked out for the best. <laughs> Nobody was expecting mm -hmm. it. He's learned a lot from his pop up. Oh okay. my god. So yeah, stupid. it's not curse. These are some blessed rolls, man. It, it always works out for the best. <laughs> yeah. This is like it's the one other person other than Tarquin that has like a purpose. And I've been I've been wanting to eat that Wogonon this whole time. <laughs> mm. You still will. It, you still will. It, it was ah. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that yeah, was beautiful. Thank you. No, that was Oh, yeah, another look. first. I've never had advantage and rolled two ones. <laughs> mm, that's oh. crazy. Mm, isn't it fun? Isn't it fun? <laughs> yeah. What are the odds of this? It's been in the real yet. world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had I've had a player roll two natural twenties at disadvantage before. Oh wow. That was that was freaking annoying. They were also a monk. So they just did some ridiculous shit. I was like, okay, we get it. You're a monk. <laughs> you can do it. She's like, can I wall run this? I was like, no, it's ice. I was like, all right, roll at disadvantage. And she's like, I got a natural 20. I was like, what's the second roll? She's like, no, I got a natural 20 on that too. Like, <sighs> well, yeah, I guess you're fucking the Spider-Man then. Um, but no, like, I've been in a position where you get a natural one. And it, it's still always going to be a bad thing. But I think where it's not like a super important catastrophic thing. And even sometimes when it is, there's a way to play it that I think is a lot more fun. Yeah. And innate. Like that, that's, I think, the key word for, for the way I DM and the way I like players to play is enabling. You know, like, mm. like I, I always say to my players, I'm like, if you've ever wanted to be. Like a motorcycle, a motorcycle riding werewolf with a cowboy hat, will find a way, you know. 
Within reason, within the world. Do you know what my next character is going to be? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find a way. You know, uh, if you want to be a sentient teapot, uh, we'll find a way. You know, and <laughs> and you know, but you in turn you also do kind of need your players to enable you as the DM. So it's like, hey, you don't have to choose this, but. Ratatouille, but with friends is an option. <laughs> <laughs> and I think by doing that, you get some of the best, most collaborative and fun outcomes to stuff. Absolutely, um, yeah. And even if it's just flavor text, like the fact that you have a bag of holding, but it's a fridge. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's so stupid. It doesn't have any additional functionality other than it's a bit colder. You know, like, and it's in the shape of a fridge, which actually doesn't really make it a bag of holding. It just makes it a fucking fridge. You know, that can just hold a bit more. It's... <laughs> but it's it just it just I don't know. It makes it really fun. And we got and we got we got Luca back. So thank you, V. Um, I told you not to worry. <laughs> I told you we'd get her back. The fridge of holding, exactly that, exactly. Um, although the cloak of billowing and the clockwork amulet are both D and D things, so yeah. I'm branching out and not bullshitting all the time anymore. The cloak's pretty good. I'm. I can see some uses for that. I can see. I'm some gonna think of so many ideas to make it look cool. Yeah, like I'm. I'm. I'm giving you tools. With which to make me regret everything. <laughs> you will. Case in I point, the poison flower from last week. <laughs> 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 and you, you can still play my poison flower mini game if you want to, but you don't have to. No, I'm, I'm literally kidding. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. I don't know. That is super fun. It's super cool. And I like like giving you guys things, and then you use it, and I'm like, oh, fuck, my plans. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> but that's part of the fun, you know. It's not fun if I'm just there fucking you guys over the whole time. <laughs> Gotta give you the power to do the same to me. I'm here for it. I'm here for the challenge. It was a really great session, Keith. Thank you very much. Thank you guys, and thank you guys for joining in. And yes, please, if you have fan art, memes, anything, haikus. Please send them our way via our Twitter. <laughs> yes. Um, or if you if you just have any of us on the other platforms, thank you for linking them, Scorpio. Just send them to us and we'll share them with each other and we'll put them on if you're not on Twitter and stuff. Um, and by supporting the stream with biddies, you support everybody on the team, stream team. And if you support the coffee, you can get more prizes and rewards for supporting um, but that goes into a pool that supports the wider project at large, which will also hopefully world calamities <laughs> providing. Um, will hopefully go uh, towards the project as a whole, which, again, words, will include hopefully an audio adventure of the first story that took place in Isafray before it even had a name. Um, and... Another audio adventure <laughs> with those same characters doing more stuff in Isafray. And, you know, maybe there'll be connections. Maybe there won't be. I don't know. Um, and we'll be able to dedicate more time to doing stuff like bespoke art and music and stuff. Um, and yeah. And you can get cool rewards. Like many friends in chat have. Like V with, um, with Luca. And many other people whose characters we haven't met yet, so I don't want to spoil it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but yes, we very much appreciate you guys coming and supporting. And just coming and chatting always makes us feel better and and supports us a lot. And that that is more than enough. And again, if you if you still hear from the YouTube crowd, we see we see we don't see you, but say hi in the comments so we can see you and we can send you love and yeah, thanks yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. putting up with us um in the future. When you're um, awesome dirty twenties. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we did, I know. Did we <laughs> roll any dirty twenties today? We didn't roll a single dirty twenty. Oh wait, oh. Buffon's insight check is a dirty. Fifteen plus five, yes. Yeah. <laughs> dirty. 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 It's gonna rock your world. Um. What's this in the trash? Oh, some dice. <laughs> Um, cursed, <laughs> cursed ass snake eyes. I think that that counts as a as a thing. Whether we'll get that again though, I don't know. God damn. Yeah, I think the only times I've ever rolled two natural ones in a row have been, they haven't been at advantage or disadvantage, but they have been on death saves. Oh damn. And two natural ones on death saves. That's all you need to die. Mm. <laughs> Because yeah. a natural one counts for two strikes, and three strikes, and you're fucking dead. I've died a lot in D. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a campaign where I haven't died? Funnily enough, uh, I think one. <laughs> Dang. Maybe, maybe two. How many different DMs have you played with? One, two, three, three. Three different people have killed you. Yeah, one of them really, really fucking killed me. She <laughs> <laughs> killed me really bad. Killed me with a shelf. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Technically, okay, let's go. We gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. I was gonna say, I <laughs> yeah. think I know who that is, and then you Story said she. Story from another day. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was technically a golem that pushed the shelf, but that's anyway. But thank you guys for joining us so much. Uh, we thank will hopefully you. be here again same time next week. But until then, many thanks from Tarquin, Ludo, Bifon, and Alora, which is just reverse alphabetical order, because I couldn't think of anything. Nice. Um, <laughs> so that was the theme. Um, but yes, thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Send us your memes. Send us your memes. Take care. Bye. Bye.